Are you missing out on your favorite show because it's not available in your region? Are you trying to keep your private time private? Well, let us introduce you to today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you're bored of US streaming services, why not take a spin in the UK? Using NordVPN in the click of a button, you can do just that. No need to travel to Japan like we did for your favorite anime when NordVPN brings it right to you. With over 5,000 server options, no show is out of your reach. Now we all love to binge, but privacy is a big deal too. NordVPN keeps your information encrypted so you never have to worry about your IP or location getting out. Not only that, but they've doubled down on keeping you safe with their new threat protection feature. Even if you've downloaded an infected file, threat protection kicks in and deletes it before it makes a mess on your computer. So what are you waiting for? There's literally no risk to use NordVPN with their 30 day money back guarantee. Give it a try. If you like it, great. If you don't, they'll issue your refund, no strings attached. Check out our link at nordvpn.com slash deadlock and get your subscription started today. All right, now it's time to get into Raw for February 13th, 1997. Also known as the episode where Shawn Michaels cries. Thursday Raw, Thursday. Thursday Raw, Thursday Raw, Thursday Thursday Raw, Thursday Raw, Thursday Raw, Thursday Raw, Thursday. Beat the shit over my head with that goddamn thing. But before we get into that show, let's take a look at what was going on in them dirty, dirty, dirt sheets at the time. From the Wrestling Observer newsletter from February 17th. 1997, uh, the World Wrestling Federation and USA Network officially confirmed on February 10th what had been negotiated on and been largely expected the past few weeks. A two-hour generally live Monday Night Raw will become a fixture. So I'm pretty sure this is not only when they started going live more often, but when they jumped to two hours. So we just missed the boat here on getting a show. Thursday Raw, to watch. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of La Femme Nikita talk here. Uh, La Femme Nikita was <laughs> a strong, show. good great, show. Yeah, l- great lead in <laughs> for uh, or WWF was a great lead in for La Femme Nikita. La Femme Ventura. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> La Femme Marcinko. <laughs> <laughs> the dictator of the world. <laughs> uh, in ECW news here, uh, some notes about the TV show that aired on February 6th. They opened the show making the announcement at the pa- about the pay-per-view, which was handled really well. This was obviously uh, barely legal. Uh, Paul Heyman said that WCW knows that there is no way their main event can top Sabu versus Taz. Meltzer says, well, if Hogan's in it, it can't, but there are probably uh, plenty of others who could. I don't know why he decided to say that. All <laughs> that's, a, that's a real Alvarez line right there. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of like Raw's going to two hours and live. ECW's about to do their pay-per-view. Uh, Shawn Michaels going away. <laughs> a lot of interesting things already happening. A lot of cool stuff happening. In 97. Uh, I, oh, by the way, yeah. So we're going to be talking. There's definitely some notes here about uh, the Shawn Michaels stuff that we're going to talk about on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go over the Observer stuff uh, after the Shawn Michaels seg on the show. So Wrestling Observer uh, newsletter, February 24th, 1997. Uh, Shane Douglas blew out his knee and had surgery this past week. He came out on crutches and claimed he tore his groin in an intense workout with Francine, which was meant as a joke. Meltzer wants you to know that uh, this means really rough sex. <laughs> Thank in parentheses, you. you know, really rough sex. <laughs> if, you, you, if you blow out your knees with rough sex, that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. You're right. <laughs> uh, they were doing it different in 1997. They must have been doing the craziest shit possible. They were, he was franchising that ass. That's what he was doing. <laughs> with his knees. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the knee move. He right? was, he was knee in bo- deep. Both knee moves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, WCW supposedly Meltzer says Shawn Michaels asked Scott Hall if there was a spot open for him, although he's under a long-term contract with the WWF, so don't take that as something that's likely to happen, even if he is frustrated about losing the title and it not being in the current cards for him to get back. So there is a slight rumor here that old Shawn could have been going to WCW, James. Or is he, brother? <laughs> or will he? <laughs> uh, let me call in the Bubba the Love Sponge, dude, and we're going we're gonna to talk it out, brother. <laughs> I'll tell you right yeah. now. I heard that same rumor. You know, I've heard it a few different times. I've heard a, a decent, like, yeah, you know, because obviously he's friends with Sean. And it changes and, all the time. Sorry, Scott and Nash and x I heard it immediately. Like, when they came over, he was going to go right away. Yeah. I heard that right, one, right, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because, yeah, they had six and the Outsiders. Right. At, at the, pretty much this exact time they were together. Right. Exactly. Um, and, you know, Sean going over would have made sense. And, 
you know, maybe they could have added Big Show and Booker T to the NWO. <laughs> <laughs> and we could have really... put on a little Triple H hat. For yeah, we could have been rocking crazy. Yeah. Uh, but sadly, we had to wait like 10 more years for that or something. Or, so um, we could have had Shawn Michaels versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan in WCW. I'm sure. Before we get it in 2005. Dude, I'll tell you right now, that would have been the most legendarily <laughs> politicked match of all time. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Dude, that would have been like... I can't even imagine I, I, uh, the shit. Because that because like, you would have had Sean and Hogan like at each other's necks, both top draws, and Kevin and Scott having to like figure out what they're doing holy, too. Like, dude, they would oh both come God. out and lose their smile at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my smile too, dude. Or maybe I didn't, depending on if Sean leaves. <laughs> I, I can't even like like obviously the WWF was a little more strict on like you know like somebody's fucking doing the job this is happening yeah yeah and wcw was taping his fists for you <laughs> wcw they would have announced the match they would have <laughs> sold the pay-per-view for three months on it and then it wouldn't have happened then they, they jj yeah jj dylan would have came out on the go home show and said well no you would uh, not. not gonna have this one he would not on the go home show he would not he would do it on the goddamn on pay-per-view the <laughs> he would do it on the fucking pay-per-view uh the match is not happening as scheduled tonight um but we a have a makeup. We got a makeup yeah. match for you here. We got six versus uh, Bobby Eaton, the pussy. <laughs> Shawn Michaels is going to manage six tonight. Hulk Hogan is not here. Six versus Dean Malenko. Uh, Bobby Eaton, pussy. <laughs> That's, Richard, that's, 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 <laughs> Richard the penis, the pussy, God, <laughs> ba, ba, dude, base Bobby eating the pussy is like, yes, dude, that's the dude, goat, Bobby the pussy that's and the shit, goat, the knee deep shade Douglas. <laughs> no one is rocking this like base Bobby eating the pussy. That's the OG of this shit, man. He invented ninety seven base Bobby eating the pussy. Do not fuck with that guy. You were talking about politics. <laughs> brother that's a whole different fucking situation dude think about me what if sean just became the ultimate hulk hogan ball liquor and it was like the new disciple oh my god that would have been a powerful force that could have never been stopped that would have been amazing hulk hogan got sean on his side oh my god dude, yeah what if they, they what if they like it was like a the the they were like boys yeah yeah, yeah. like they, they politics oh so much that they were like <laughs> brother that's the kind of attitude we need here in WCW, dude. Dude, it, it's if the Sean mega powers. Went, dude, if Sean had went over and buddied up with Hogan and joined the NWO, the show would have just been called NWO Nitro. It just would have happened, for sure. They would have kept it that way. Well, oh. not on base Bobby eating the pussies show, I'll tell you that. Not 97, brother. <laughs> What's Bobby eating up to these days? Eating pussies still? Yeah, probably, bro. He's probably still doing That's the good. leg drop off He's the top. He's doing it right he now. He's away. probably eating Sorry right now. That. He's yeah. up in He's heaven dropping the leg, brother. With hatred. With hatred eating pussies. <laughs> or hell <laughs> whatever yeah really maybe he visits I don't know uh, Ted Turner's original cable superstation that basically got off the ground nearly two decades ago through Atlanta Braves baseball and Georgia Championship Wrestling has decided its future is to go back to its past TBS will begin its own live two hour primetime show uh, at some time in the not too distant future perhaps as early as the May sweeps uh, the general response upon getting the word out the new two hour show within the company was how the hell are we going to pull this off <laughs> so I'm assuming they're talking about Thunder <laughs> Yeah, probably. The yeah. Uh, Atlanta Braves are my childhood team. Is that right? Yeah, I don't remember. Why'd you jump off the Braves? I really don't fuck with baseball that much. The uh, So do you still got love for the Braves? Yeah, I mean, because I don't really fuck any other teams. You know, I got my man. <laughs> I got Raleigh Fingers. That's a crazy player. Uh, that's not a real Catfish man. Hunter. What? Make, Raleigh you're Fingers? These up. Catfish Hunter? Raleigh Fingers and Cashman Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Raleigh Fingers, Catfish Hunter. I'm Mark looking at Raleigh Fingers. What the hell? Yeah. Raleigh Fingers is a real player. Yeah, what Raleigh, what? Raleigh Fingers. R O L L I E Fing. R O L L I L E I G H Fingers. No, <laughs> Raleigh Fingers played for the A's. Yeah, so. Raleigh Fingers. Uh, yeah, Catfish Hunter, Mark McGuire. Um, I mean, we were rocking crazy all stars. Shohei Otani was one of my favorite baseball players back in. Uh, oh, that, uh, I know, Hunter, you like the A's? I think he was like the A's, bro. 
Yeah, you uh, didn't even like the Braves. No, it was the Atlanta Braves because uh, <laughs> that's even funny. I can't remember. Yeah, I guess Fish Hunter played for the A's, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, well, he's from Hartford. That was like 15 from where I lived back in the day. So. What um, are you just talking about? You just, just called them the Braves. Now. I don't even know. Catfish, Catfish Hunter Catfish is, Catfish Hunter's from Hartford. That's just a dog, from you know, Her- skip chop and a hump in a way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Catfish Hunter's from uh, Hartford, North Carolina, which is 15 You're minutes away from where I live as a kid. Right. Uh, what the so fuck he was are rocking. you talking Crazy. about, dude? Oh, Did he dude. play for the Braves, Tony? No, but I was just I was just telling oh, you the okay. baseball players oh, I fucked oh, with. Oh, you just like Yeah. Okay. Along, along with the Atlanta Braves. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, that's good. Just thought I'd let you know, man. Thank you so much. I always appreciate that. I like knowing the James lore. I, I like that a lot. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. Uh, in WWF news, the pay-per-view commercials on the Barker channel for the final four listed Brett, Sean, Sid, and Austin as the final four, uh, which was the original plan before they switched the Rumble finish because they thought everyone knew their first plan. Meltzer's gotten the indication that Sid was planned to beat Michaels for the belt. Uh, so... That's well, good. let's uh, call into the Bubba Loves Bunch show and see if that's going to happen, brother. No way, dude. <laughs> Me personally, brother, I'd never let that happen, dude. <laughs> no, Sid, <laughs> not my company, dude. <laughs> Matter of fact, brother, if Sean wants to come over and join the NWO, dude, we have a spot for him, brother. <laughs> or maybe we don't. It's, it's better than me, dude. So if he likes that, that's just fine with me, brother. <laughs> In some markets, when WWF buy ads for his house shows uh, during Nitro, Doc Hendricks opens the ad with, Hey, insert city here. What are you doing watching this? Make sure to switch the Raw. <laughs> that's got to be illegal. That? Yeah, that's got to be illegal. There's no way that's legal. There's yeah. no way. He said, Meltzer said the funny part is that some of these commercials aired after Raw. <laughs> So they would play them, say, hey, switch to Raw, and they would switch over to be La Femme Nikita. Oh, my. <laughs> that means rough sex. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> From the Observer on March 3rd, 1997. This is a big fucking one here. This is, a, I didn't know some of this shit here. Uh, This is a big deal about Ken Shamrock, 33 years old, signing a three-year guaranteed exclusive contract to the WWF for a low seven-figure downside guarantee and signing bonus. In addition, Vince McMahon has the option after three years to continue the contract for an additional three years without Shamrock having the option to test himself at that point on the free agent market. The contract is exclusive, ending Shamrock's participation in the UFC or any other shoot fighting events. At least at press time appears to kill what some Japanese insiders were expecting to wind up being the biggest money loss Live match in pro wrestling history, a proposed April 12th match at the Tokyo Dome against Hashimoto for the IWGP Championship. Uh, New Japan had a press conference on February 19th and announced officially what we reported here last week, that they were running the Dome on April 12th, headlined by Hashimoto versus Shamrock for the belt. Uh, To make things even hotter, it was announced that they were retiring the old IWGP heavyweight belt and designing a new belt valued at $90,000, making it the most expensive title belt in pro wrestling history. Uh, Then on Monday night, the Japanese media and New Japan were stunned to find out the news of Shamrock appearing on Raw. Technically, it's not 100% out of the question that the match won't take place, although realistically, there's almost no chance. To book Shamrock, New Japan would have to book him through McMahon, uh, and the original price and contract New Japan sent Shamrock would obviously have to be renegotiated. With New Japan being tied to WCW and having no business relationship with the WWF, it would make maintaining that main event almost an impossibility. By late Tuesday, the word out of New Japan is that they believe they'd been double-crossed by Shamrock and were looking for a new opponent for Hashimoto. I had no idea about any of that. That he was supposed to fucking be in like the biggest match That's in incredible. Japan history. That's awesome. Against Hashimoto. <laughs> That's awesome. But here you go. That was it for the Observer at the time until we talk about the, uh, the Sean stuff later in the show. Okay. All right. So we start with the cold open here. Uh, Mr. McMahon talking over a video package here of Shawn Michaels, who will forfeit the title here tonight. Yes. For over 40 years, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. No fucking way, man. WCW is smashing <laughs> these dudes, Dude, man. this show especially. I don't I don't even know what they were doing, but there's no way it wasn't WCW better than was this. definitely doing way better than anything they could pump out here on Thursday, Raw, Thursday, been, Thursday, right? Raw, th- Thursday, Thursday, Raw, Thursday, Raw, Thursday, Raw, Thursday. This is where they say the, it a hundred times. They say the title will be va- declared vacant tonight. This Sunday's final four winner will become the new champion. They're showing shots of Shawn Michaels crying when he won the belt. And tonight, Shawn Michaels will forfeit the WWF Championship. And tonight, Shawn will cry again. <laughs> Thursday, Raw Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, Raw Vader. Thursday. Vader. Thursday, <laughs> Raw Thursday. Johnson. Vader. 
<laughs> Undertaker, <laughs> Thursday, Raw, Thursday. Yeah, they just repeated it ad nauseum live. That wasn't even really live. I don't think it was. Thursday, Raw, Thursday was live. You could definitely tell the way the show was produced that it was really? live. And you, how did you not? Did you see how I don't the way they produced I, it the show? It just seemed was, like it just seemed like because especially with the way where they cut the matches and shit, it just felt like it was edited. No, it's very live because they had no clue when to go to commercial break, and they the wrestlers didn't know like to put in a rest hold to go to commercial break. They just randomly were like, uh, "Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back." That's yeah. probably why the, all the matches were horrible. They had no, I, they had <laughs> yeah, no idea. Right. They had no idea when to go to commercial break. And they told they, Rocky and Hunter that there were four commercials during their match. It felt like <laughs> <laughs> they said, "They, you guys have an unlimited amount of time. Please just do whatever you want. Yeah, do everything. We please. are getting cooked. It doesn't matter yeah. what y'all do." Do whatever. <laughs> no one is watching this opening match, so it does not matter. We are not beating these dudes, dude. They got fucking. No they're rocking Eddie Guerrero as a D Malenko in the first match. You are not Were doing they? better than these guys. Was that the opener? Yeah, it was. But it oh wasn't. This was on Thursdays, so. though. Oh, you're right. You're Were right. Were they right. bumped because of the Westminster Dog Show or something? I would assume so, right? Because that's what they always got bumped for, right? Yeah, that's. I'm guessing right. So. They also, were this, for uh, Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were whooping their ass. <laughs> I wonder what kind of ratings that dog show was getting because they always got bumped. They always got bumped. They always got bumped for the dog show. Dude, the Westminsters had them doggy style every fucking year. You remember year. when people watched TV, ass. man? Yeah. Like people, they, there was like appointment viewing back then. Yeah, you had to like prepare yourself for the night i'm watching tv that's tonight nuts man that's, you gotta go out and yeah. get the tv guide and find out what's on tv and yeah then and on that saturday shit. i'm, wa I'm wa on t on saturdays i'm watching that six to ten comedy block <laughs> yeah that shit was based yo i you know what's crazy you know speaking of the tv thing i've been seeing a real weird string of tiktoks lately where like <laughs> Kids grew up not liking Adult Swim and not what? like and not liking King of the Hill, dude. Wait, really? Crazy string of tweets. Uh, oh, man, wow. I think it's because I shared one of them once, so I see them more often now. Yeah, yeah. But because I, I shared it, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" The guy was like watching Cartoon Network, and then the King of the Hill music hit, and he said, "Oh hell no!" And he turned it off and walked away. I said, "Damn!" I, I, I don't like. It I took a second. I was like, "What the? Yeah, what the, what fuck? the hell?" <laughs> I did not know that people one no. disliked King of the Hill, fucking classic Mike Judge series. Yeah, Two, what? That they stopped watching when Adult Swim came on. Dude, Adult Swim was awesome. What, what the fuck? The fuck? Hey, no, no, you ain't catching me watching Cowboy Bebop. Get the hell out! You're not here watching that Cowboy bullshit. Bebop, Ghost in the Shell. You're not watching fucking uh, Dragon Ball Z or um, Space Ghost, Ghost to Ghost. Yeah, Space Ghost. You're not watching Aqua Teen or fucking. You know, not, Adult yeah. Swim probably probably Adult Swim is probably like ahead of the time too, because like now Adult Swim everybody loves it, but it's probably like sure. What the fuck Adult is Swim this? now is like kind of pretty different, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That, I don't yeah, really I, don't I, really. I don't fuck with TV. Yeah, so like, right, yeah. yeah, I watch all the stuff I want whenever I want to. Yeah, I don't really. Have a point of viewing. <laughs> My appointment is when I make it. So <laughs> I don't even know what time it is, bro. <laughs> Robot Chicken was rocking back then too. Oh you yeah, that's right. That? Robot Chicken was on that. True. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Weird, man. I couldn't believe that. So yeah, TV's just way different now than it was back then. Um, because you could yeah. not put Rocky Maivia versus Hunter Hearst Helms on TV today. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, hey, okay, so yeah, the opening match here is Rocky Maivia, super Rocky Maivia era Rocky Maivia. Uh, this is like to the point where they want him to die. This guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, they have not turned him yet. He's just blue chipper baby face, and he's taking on Hunter Hearst Helmsley, who also has not changed gimmick yet. He is full blue blood guy, and he's Intercontinental Champion. Uh, and this they are guy the show here. sucks. <laughs> Dude, matter of fact, man, I'm pretty sure everyone in the crowd hates everyone that's pushing right now. Dude, it's it, I. There is a part of the Sean thing that I have. It, no one talks about. I have no recollection of it, and it made me laugh so. It's the same hard. thing. It's probably the same thing me and James are talking about. It's but a, yeah, we'll it, get to I'm it. sure it is. But, I'm sure uh, it is. but dude, I was like, okay, The Rock versus Triple H opening. This is gonna be a fucking hot raw. We're starting it's off with The Rock and Triple H. Right? This yeah. is crazy. Oh, it's rocking my opinion. It's this is why they. This something. is why they always did no contest on Attitude Era because you get this shitty ass shit. They were rocking here. <laughs> yeah, they said you are not going longer than eight, and you were doing. 
DQ finish every week. Fuck you. So uh, there's a Owen Hart is the queen of farts sign right behind commentary. Great as sign, they great have. sign. The, the commentator's talking about Sean vacating the title. Uh, Vince says Sean was meant to face Sid, but Sid is going to face Stone Cold here tonight. I said, holy fuck, that sounds awesome. Okay, all Stone Cold taking on the Psycho Sid. We love Let's the Psycho go. Sid over here. I love we, Sid Vicious, man. I love do, all Stone Cold do. too. Uh, and then I was well, it's a Psycho astray. Sid, which is, of yeah. course... Regular they hated Sid. Him. They hated him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, we'll talk about Sid later. But yeah, this guy sucks, dude. <laughs> they showed um th- the the what do you call them tonight matches or whatever on the side you of the screen. The they just yeah, yeah. they just push the fucking screen over. And yeah, it gets yeah. all oh, squished. The, yeah, the swipe swipe feature. Yeah. yeah, resolution's all fucked up. Got this squished yeah. ass screen. Um, and you're making me miss Rocky My V versus Hunter or Zelmsley first off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, crazy lineup. Vader versus Bret Hart, fucking Sid yeah. versus Stone Cold. I said, oh, we're getting some like good matches. I was like, oh, this one, yes. will, this match here will probably be over pretty soon and we can get to those matches. Dude. No, that's not Dude, true. What is the time of this actual match? Did it, like, it's got to be 15, 16. It, like, felt, yeah. it, it felt 15, every minute of. It's got to be 15, 16, like bell to bell. So like we're talking 15 30 15 30. Yeah, as I say it's got to be like 20. Yeah. It's got to be like 20 something all together. They do nothing. They do nothing the whole time. It's like uh, they I feel like I'm waiting for them to like uh, turn it up a little bit. They don't even get to anywhere where I'm excited. The most exciting part is the end of the match and I don't know if they were happy about the title change or of the match about be- just being over. Dude, Triple H put him in like a rest hold for at least like 5 minutes straight. I like kept no looking away and looking back there. and I thought he was in the same rest hold Tony, but I think he just kept putting it back in. Oh my god. So gosh. a few she things was- here. A few things here. Um, JR Vince and King are on commentary. Correct. Um, very weird that Vince is calling the action, not JR. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That is, I guess he's... it was weird because JR is kind of just like a color commentator along with Jerry. So J- you're right. JR kind of goes, Oh, business is picking up. That's his, that's his job. He'll say business is picking up. <laughs> and then Jerry Lawler goes, ha ha ha. Ah, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in Memphis before. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you, there's slight like Lawler doing like one liners, but yeah, you're right. I, I guess it is like uh, you, maybe that was Vince's idea. Like Vince is the lead, and then he has the southern voice, and he has the northern voice. Oh, you're and right. It's him in the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it has to be right because Vince was like literally. I was like waiting for Jr. to take over, but Vince is like arm drag, hammerlock reversal. Said, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Lawler is talking about Rock being nervous, and Jr. says, "Oh, what do you think? He's as nervous as Michael Jackson has been in the past twenty four hours." I said, "That is where I was what? like, Jim Ross is color. Con- this is AEW commentary." <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck did Michael Jackson?" I was like, "Ninety seven, Michael Michael Jackson in ninety seven was." But it, Michael Jackson had just had a kid. That's what he was talking about. Mm, okay, could have been anything, really. Well, I guess yeah. I guess next sure. next four years for Michael Jackson are pretty <laughs> yeah. big years for him. So. Uh, Vince says Rocky is the grandson of High Chief Peter Maivia, and Lawler says, "Yeah, where is he watching from?" I'm guessing he's dead. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, dude, where is he watching from? Vince says, "Be nice, be nice, <laughs> <laughs> play fair." Now <laughs> they do a wide shot of the crowd who is all sitting on their hands, very bored. Also, by the way, wide shot. Talk about this arena, Lowell Memorial Auditorium, pretty Lowell. sweet arena. Lowell, Worcester, Lowell, Worcester Massachusetts, uh, Lowell, Massachusetts, near Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester arena, by the way, I love the the look of it. I do it too. is a cool arena. Yeah, I do too. It reminds me of um. I feel like they they either have run here a bunch of times, or there's a lot of places that just look like this. Because I feel like this looks like uh not the Manhattan Center, but one of those New York. Yeah, yeah, I wrote Manhattan Center, but maybe like the Manhattan Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I I thought it was Manhattan Center when I first saw it, but it's not in uh, Terminal Five. Yes. It still runs. It still looks the same as it did back then. Really? The arena. Dude. They still run. Oh, like I Golden. think New Japan ran there a couple years ago, like a, a show. Oh, okay. And, and Lowell, Worcester? In Lowell, Massachusetts, which is near Worcester. Dude, by the way, <laughs> Terminal 5 is crazy. Dude, ROH Terminal was- Terminal 5 is like the shittiest ROH place to was, run a show ever. <laughs> dude, ROH was dedicated to being the worst fucking wrestling show ever. They're like, we're going to run Terminal 5 and book a shitter show here. You can't see anything here. And, dude, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 that's right. Bodies, tickets up there. 
um but yeah so the 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 show's got the entrance way there's no like there's no it's real gritty honestly the show's real yeah yeah yeah. gritty um the big raw letters um i like that i like the raw letters um me too mm -hmm. i like when sabu fell off of yeah, I mean, that was... The R. Did you know he fell off the R? That. That's, That's coming the soon. R. Ha, ha. That's coming off the R. The ECW thing is soon, like a month or a couple weeks after this, actually. He falls off the R? Mm-hmm. Ha, ha. Falls off the R. <laughs> Dude, he, which letter did he fall off? Do you Sabu? Think? <laughs> he, he fell off the R. Uh, the R? <laughs> off the R. <laughs> uh, That's Taz. <laughs> well, Triple H is out here... Um, Doing Hunter Hearst Helmsley, not Triple H. Different yeah, guy. Please. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, uh, the blue blood, I think. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Yes, that's right. He looks like a big ass pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> He's just. <laughs> Come on, bro. He's Intercontinental Champion. Please put some respect on Hunter no, Hearst Helmsley. No. You know that. And, and, and <laughs> James, if you were like, listen. Uh, this match is obviously not going well here. Rocky Maivi and Hunter Hearst Helmsley, they're just doing stuff. Now, what can you, you think mean? of any way possible to make this any worse? Well, I mean, yeah, I can think of a few ways to make this a lot worse. <laughs> they, but, they won. Uh, well, we could send Crush out here to do a run in. <laughs> sure. Well, what about before that, maybe? <laughs> uh, what? What could it be? It could be maybe the honky tonk man coming to fucking ringside to do commentary. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. The fucking honky tonk man walks out with his guitar and his big blue suit and his big dumb head, and he's on. I said, "No, dude. fucking way do I gotta listen to honky tonk man and watch this shitty ass match?" Dude, I'm I'm about to join High Chief Peter my field wherever he's. At. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. L- look, dude. So Rocky my via. Like, all right, we're right. We had to be what ten into this, or like eight yes. or nine into this by sure. the time honky tonk man comes out. Yeah. Rocky my via is only fucking doing drop kicks. He's spamming <laughs> drop kicks and they're not even that great yes. of drop kicks. No, and then not. like halfway through the match, like right before Honky Tonk Man comes out, they just redo the spots they already called earlier again. Dude, I was like, I, okay, I looked yes. away for a second. I looked back there. They redid the spots they did earlier. I was like, there's no way like you just skipped and I'm watching it again or something. <laughs> Dude, I, that's when I was just uh, saying to Tony, I thought he was doing the same wrestle. Yeah, Triple H does the running knee out of the corner like four times. Rock does a drop kick. They tease <laughs> suplexes. Yeah, it's like you know the what, same You know what I'm thing. wondering? Because this is live and they're used to like tape stuff. I wonder if they did that in like matches and then they would just like edit them. So they cut them? Like, yeah, they'd cut them up. I to think the... what happened really, Tony, was <laughs> they just blew it. Yeah, that the match was fifteen, <laughs> and they called seven minutes worth of spots, so they just did them again. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And it was you're live, right, yeah. so they didn't really know what to do. They're just they like, did all yeah. their commercial break moves during the show. Back then, you could have a shitter match, and then like you could just go to the hotel. You didn't even have to read Twitter back then. You just had a no shitter way. match. And like we're just moving on, like, but you know, so you, yeah, we call three spots for fifteen minutes. And we do them all. I ain't even got to hear nobody say it was bad. <laughs> I'm rocking. You know what I mean? Back then it was awesome. That was just hey, going there's, one, there's one guy in the crowd yelling boring. So there's that. Well, there's definitely like a, I'm pretty sure there's a die Rocky die chant. It's somewhere. Rocky sucks is what it was. There's a Rocky um, sucks Also, I, I just wanted to put this out. This might be the first time they call Triple H cerebral. I heard him say on commentary. They do say that. And it's oh, cerebral. Yeah. Yeah. I like that word. So I think yeah, it okay. might be the first ever time he's cerebral. I think JR, JR also says howdy pilgrim. <laughs> Which is pretty nuts because he does Why look like do a that? big ass pilgrim. He, he does, you're right. Big ass belt buckle. There's, there's, there's a a big BWO sign in the crowd too with a guy wearing a BWO shirt. I was like, holy shit! Wow, Who do you think okay, he likes? Awesome. Yeah. He probably likes the pilgrims. <laughs> oh shit! Well, he's a, he's in good favor here. He's because, in the right place. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Uh, Honky Tonk Man says uh, he's not very impressed with anything he's seen so far, and every man he's looked at in the WWF has let him down. And I dude, have okay, you, that could, you could understand that because I couldn't, I couldn't understand. Well, yeah, he was down, down there because they were double down. audio, double synced, and it was off. Yeah, you're right. Honky that was Tonk live Man for sure. is fucking on commentary. I so I go, what happened on Nitro this week? Literally, when Honky Tonk Man came, <laughs> out, I said, what the fuck was Nitro doing? Because they had to be doing something like this. Sure. So Nitro was obviously on Monday, but it was just I was just looked at it really quick. It was Dean yeah, Malenko yeah. versus Eddie, really. Wow, um, and then wild. and then it went into a segment with Sting, Macho Man, and DDP. This is all oh within the time. God. This is all within the time that this shitty ass match was going. And then 
They did base Bobby eating the pussy versus <laughs> Conan, and oh my. Conan came out and he Conan was the gimmicks? he was spamming front drop kicks, rolling clothesline, rolling clothesline. Yeah, this was shit was boss? yeah, dude. That shit was Let's crazy. Was he body, body and rowdy, dude, rowdy? He came out with the one leg up, had the fucking gimmick crazy. Oh, I shit. said, did he have the hat? Did he get the hat uh, on? No hat, no hey, hat, no hat. Oh, oh, bandana? Bandana? No hat, no hat, no hat. No bandana. No, no, no. he was rocking the. All right, no problem. Yeah, he, he looked good. He came out. He had his moves. I mean, they were crazy. Wait, you're telling me all that happened in the time of this it, one? This match, match is still happening. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, Bobby Eaton is going crazy in here. I'm talking 97. Bobby Eaton's going nuts, right? At, and, at uh, one point, uh, Hunter hits a neck breaker, and I wrote, I wish that was his finisher so this match ends. <laughs> well, Rocky has to do the. He's like, like trying to figure out the rock punch combination. He hasn't gotten it down yes. yet. He's no, just he's he's not. weird shit. Uh, and then he hits fucking, well, you think you're Brian Danielson or something? It's the fucking <laughs> small package and gets a three after 15. Dude, uh, Hunter hits him with a leaping pile driver, which was the most exciting part of the match, by the way. Which I just, he just Dude. did it and Rock kicked out of two. It was like, oh, uh, one okay, point, cool. I think, there, I think King's talking about The Rock and he says he's a little short on gray matter, which I thought was a funny line. I know, the <laughs> wow, why not? Why not? Why not? But that was good. Now, what does that Behave. mean exactly? Behave. That, that means rough <laughs> sex. <laughs> knee yeah, his knees hurt. His knees hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Bobby Eaton's on fucking Nitro. We're kicking Did ass he win? over here. Did he beat fucking Co <laughs> NWO Conan? Did he win? Yeah, he Did he <laughs> no. win? Sorry, brother. I don't, I don't think Bobby Eaton got right, a W checking. on that one. Just check it on that uh, one. But I respect that. I mean, you know. But yeah, Hunter, Hunter went for the pedigree and Rock falls down Kenny Omega style. <laughs> he was exhausted. He was not taking it. And then he inside cradles Hunter and wins the title. And the crowd is excited now because something go crazy finally happened it. it's kind of crazy, in 15 yeah. minutes. Because the yeah. match is over. That's why, not because of The Rock. Yeah, you could have the shittiest show ever and do a title change and everyone will be happy about it. So that's fine. Yeah, well, yeah. I like, uh, I like uh, the Intercontinental belt here. Actually, I, too. I actually I, like the branding the WWF had at this point. I always thought this logo nice. was really cool. And I thought the apron looked pretty cool. The blue apron with like the uh, silhouette of the WWF. Uh, oh, yeah, it was oversized. Logo. And then the... it just said World Wrestling Federation on it. I was like, oh, that's really cool looking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I did not. I'm not a big fan of the ropes and shit like that. I always thought that looked kind of cheap. Yeah, I thought so, too. Um, um, Doc Hendricks is here to interview The Rock immediately. Sorry, Rocky Maivia immediately at ringside. And he says, Rocky, Rocky. You're the new Intercontinental Champion. And Rocky says, and he, it's so funny because, like, it's still his, like, it's his cadence that he eventually gets as The Rock, but he's just not The Rock. It's super weird. He's like, I can't believe it. I guarantee I'm going to give the best that I can give. Always, dad and grandfather and my whole family. Thank you. And I'll make all my fans proud. <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh, fuck cheese is ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You win the title against Hunter Hearst Helmsley. I'll give it a hundred and ten percent. I love the fans. He was blue that's what, chipper as hell. That's what bro. they wanted. That's what the yeah. character was. After was... fifteen boring <laughs> minutes, The Rock has finally dethroned the worst Intercontinental <laughs> Champion the millions, and millions, the millions have ever seen. That's what that it should have happened. So much if better. Smell, oh my la, god! La, la, la. If you smell, <laughs> he buries the match after fifteen. 36 boring minutes. <laughs> His own match. His own match that he called. After the most boring match I've ever seen. And he blames minutes. it on Hunter. Heavy beast. Drop another knee, why don't you? If you smell. Dude, dude, what a fucking cheese ball. I will give it 110%. I, I love the fans a lot. I love my family and my fans, and I will do my best that's, to be the best I can be. That's like when you ask like a football player or something after they get like a, a good game, and they always go, well, yeah. I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, first of all, for putting me on this earth, for uh, yes, allowing I, me yeah. to do this. Yeah. But why don't you say, man, I fucking slammed the fart. <laughs> I slammed the fart. <laughs> that's Rocky. If Rocky would have gone crazy like that, I'm a fucking no. smoke a bowl. I'm a fucking, <laughs> fucking, I'm fucking something tonight. No way, man. My dad and my grandfather are going to Disneyland with me. Fuck you, man. I, I, I love the fans. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Speaking of that, a fan tried to just take the title off of his shoulder as he leaves. Dude. As he should have. The Rock should have said, said, this is the era of the... The beginning of the Megillah, the no. Maivia. <laughs> the Johnson. <laughs> Still would have been a better promo than Vader cut later. Oh, my God. Oh, live. Dude. dude, how did you not know this was live, man? This is all over the place, man. We're live, pal. 
these workers are. Well, <laughs> WWF in your house final four. Uh, watch us four. redo the fucking last the bit rumble. of the last one you paid <laughs> for. <laughs> Pinfall submission or over the top. We'll redo it. The, uh, Bret Hart, Vader, Stone Cold, Undertaker. Who will become the new WWF champion at WWF in your house final four? They have Austin, the gif of Austin putting his hands over his face in this With promo, his hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all timer <laughs> moment. Love that's it. great. From the Rumble. So, Sonny is here. Tony! I know you want me! Yeah! Did you, did you guys see me in the crowd? No, where were you? Were you the one here. jerking off? He had a lotion you? in his hand. He had to dig his hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That was guy with his cock on the floor? <laughs> no, it's the Sunny Fan Club sign. You see that? Oh, I did oh. see you. Yeah, yeah, you're oh, awesome, man. No you pants. You were in that? The Sunny Fan Club? No pants? I started it on AOL. It was sunnyfanclub at AOL.com. You could email me right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very trustworthy. Do not be afraid. I, st <laughs> I still have that email, by the way. You could email me right now. I will email you. I will uh, need Very trustworthy. You could trust this guy. Uh, I was trying to set up Tony like a, Ed Sunny a, meet, fan club. A, a meet and greet. You know, like you could come oh, to great. dinner, but you'd have to email me cool. about the dinner with the fan club thing. But Well, know, Lawler, Lawler says, let's stop talking about Rocky Maivia and let's talk about Sunny and her fucking titties. Woo! Okay, Sunny is brother. here. No bra, just vibes. My, my goodness. And my goodness. she is going to announce the headbangers. Well, she doesn't have her notes at first. It's in her titties, of course, the well, notes. Yeah, I mean, where so else would they be? She, she has says, no where can I put them? Oh, yeah, they're in my titties. Yeah, rest. did you guys catch that? No pockets yeah. on the, you know what I'm saying? So, no, they don't make them like that, bro. Uh, the headbangers were, are going to, yes. of course, to... You know, we got to put on a this good is, show this week. So the headbangers, the headbangers are going to face off against Bob Holly and Aldo Montoya. <laughs> We're rocking. Spark plug, Bob Holly and Aldo Montoya are in the ring, and I said, "What the fuck?" I'm having I, it's the most fucked up moment in my life. I'm trying to explain that Aldo Montoya is just incredible to death. <laughs> she doesn't understand she why he looks like a Power Ranger. She's like, "No," she's like, "Why is he a Power Ranger? Why is he all the Power Rangers put together?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> this is fucked up because they have like limited TV time here, like heading into the big. Fatal of Final Four pay per view, and yeah. this is what they put on there to promote that pay per view. And this must oh. be early headbanger stuff because they're like, ju like I feel like they're not really comfortable with whatever the fuck they're doing yet. They're just kind of yeah, but stiff. he's doing the dance thing. He's doing the dance and he's spitting in the air and catching in his mouth. And he's, 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 they were still doing the face. nun thing, right? The nun thing on Shotgun Saturday yes, Night. Yes, because Shotgun is not too deep in yet. I don't think. Yeah, I think so. Or yeah. maybe, it, uh, maybe it was. I'm not sure. Uh, they show a graphic of Stone Cold versus Sid, which looks insane, and well, then Undertaker versus Savio Vega as well. Well, the uh, oh god, by the way, we'll talk about that. But um, <laughs> yeah, th this week actually, I believe, was the Undertaker tombstone on Shotgun Saturday Night. Yes, they replayed so. the green slutty Eminem slam of the week. It's Undertaker <laughs> tombstoning Hunter on the escalator and Hunter riding How come down. The green and Eminem out? has a mustache, <laughs> dude. It was uh, you know, it was a rough night. Well, the Headbangers versus Bob Holly and Aldo Montoya. God, there was nothing else I wanted to see at this time than this one. So B Bob Holly is trying to beat the. Sh Bob Holly is trying to end their careers. It felt like. Just, I mean, just incredible. Based by Bob the Holly. way, yes, just incredible. If you guys have never seen Aldo Montoya before, this has yes. got to be. I mean, <laughs> top five, top ten, worst looking motherfuckers of all time. <laughs> Just incredible for some I reason. Have this. Just, I don't have this slander. Just incredible for some reason. Has the top pop crazy style, <laughs> bald head showing, re ready to rock. Like I think what? Jerry Law used to call it a jock strap. It looks like a jock strap on his face. Well, listen, man. Here's what happened here with just incredible. He spent two years as an enhancement talent for the WWF. Then he was hired in late '94. His Portuguese ancestry inspired the WWF to give him a soccer player character of Aldo Montoya. Did you un did you catch that part? Ronald yeah, Dino. He's player. supposed to be Ronald Dino. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be Masi. However, the idea changed Masi. to the <laughs> Masi. Dude, I'm, the, I'm Ronald Dino. I couldn't even say that without I couldn't even say that without thinking of the fucking comments. <laughs> You fucking idiot. <laughs> Whatever, man. Go catch your Ronaldinho's, bro. However, the <laughs> idea changed to the Portuguese Man of War. He was character. the Man of War. Yeah, Portuguese Man of War character since he didn't like soccer. <laughs> so, uh, and yes, his master criticism by fellow wrestlers who called it a jockstrap. And then he befriended the click. Uh, and then he got fired. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck you. 
Bob Holly likes race cars. He does. So <laughs> Bob Holly, what do you want? Bob, oh, bro, he yeah, likes the race cars. yeah. So good gimmicks here. Bob Holly uh, also likes to hit people extremely hard. Hard as hell. He's trying to clothesline their face. He hits Mosh with a drop kick that I swear I don't know how it didn't break his nose. So I'm sure this match was fine. I wouldn't know because I didn't watch it, but I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> it was actually okay. Yeah. I mean, Headbangers actually had some cool tag moves. They always kind of had cool tag moves there. They look like the Gourd Buster off the top. Uh, the fucking stage dive is an all timer finisher. I don't know how people haven't stolen that. Stage dive is awesome. The fucking power bomb into the leg drop off the top. Fucking. I don't think cool anyone, no one ever does. No, I don't feel like, yeah, I don't know why, which is a dope ass move, but it's such an easy move to do too, right? Vince is talking about Sean on commentary. He says, Sean has a knee injury, but not the same injury that a regular person would have. It's much worse because Sean has put in a lot of work. (laughs) It's not real. (laughs) It's a not real one. That's why. (laughs) Lawler says, uh, Sean, uh, it's a career-ending injury. That's what this doctor said. And Vince says, well, we don't know that yet. Uh, They haven't said anything about this match the whole time. They're just talking about Sean the entirety of this match. Dude, why is Vince McMahon a big Sean ball licker? What is going on here? This is, uh, fuck you, man. I hate Brad. I don't want Brad on top. (laughs) That's why. (laughs) Brad signed like a 95-year deal with Vince. I didn't want it. It was an accident. (laughs) Sorry about that. I didn't want to sign him. Dude, he goes on and on forever. You know, if you wrestle like Sean does, nobody wrestles like Sean. Nobody wrestles like Sean. Yeah. If it you just, this isn't an all of a sudden injury, this has been, you know, from the years of the great matches he's putting on in the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, the, the whole match is them talking oh, about Sean oh, until, oh, the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> until the That's end. It's the end of the Toya. In the quick. <laughs> <laughs> the only time they start talking about the match is when Thrasher misses a moonsault while they're advertising the forbidden TV comedies lineup like Lost on L- Earth and JR's favorite Duckman. Yeah, <laughs> Duckman was awesome. Hell Duckman. yeah. Well, JR said, Yeah, I'm a Duckman man. I man. hear you. <laughs> Dude, I have Duckman on DVD. That's how awesome that show is. Oh my. <laughs> That's tremendous. Waldo Montoya awesome tags in. And yeah. He- it hits the clotheslines and then Dude, it gets hit with the stage dive. <laughs> the Chad Portuguese man award. What? <laughs> what a cocksucker, man. Oh my god. Auto Montoya. I hear you. So the headbangers yeah, yeah. win here. Yes, they do. Uh, and then Shawn Michaels is seen telling Gorilla Monsoon that he will book a group called the Schism in 20 years. <laughs> and there's not a damn thing any of you can do about it. If I'm you just... don't let me do this idea, I'm out. <laughs> and he said, well, you got to get the fuck out of here. And he said, well, if I ever find a guy named Joe Casey, I'm going to go crazy. Dude, Rocky Maivia's daughter is going to join this group I got. It's oh going to be awesome. God, oh, my <laughs> God. I have this long con idea. <laughs> He's bitching Rocky by a V's daughter to Gorilla Monster. You ever have a daughter, Rocky by a V? I got this idea. <laughs> the schism. <laughs> that word wasn't even invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, we, we can do it. We keep, please stay. We can do it here. We can do this, kids. Oh my, I swear we can. I swear we. We'll play. Do you want Aldo Montoya in there? Oh, no, no, don't, don't leave. Send his ass to ECW. Don't leave. <laughs> so it's time for the legendary segment here. Shawn Michaels loses oh his smile. Town Hall. So Vince is in the ring with Gorilla Monsoon, and he introduces the most flamboyant, what, all right, and charismatic WWF champion, perhaps of all time, here to surrender the WWF championship, Shawn Michaels. And sh- now I want you to pay attention here, because Shawn comes to the ring with a slight limp. Maybe you not even noticed it that he was had any limp, because it's all about his knee here. But by the time he leaves this ring, he has a crippling injury <laughs> that makes it very hard for you him know, to walk. because as a normal human being, you don't understand the severity Sorry, you're right. of you this You don't get it. This isn't, this isn't a one-time injury. This is just come out of nowhere. It's been years and years of... The HBK years years. injury. <laughs> it is. It's, it's very, very... Very long and nagging injury from all the great matches. Mr. WrestleMania, best of all time. World Wrestling Federation wouldn't exist without Shawn Michaels, by the way. Well, well they call it the schism knee, and he is 
out that's of true. here. That's what I've been hearing, actually. That's it's not as hearing. bad when you listen to Sean's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> when you stop listening to Sean's ideas, it flares up. This you start listening. Oh, when you stop, when you stop listening, it's just me yeah, flares up. It flares up. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean gets in the ring. He's got a suit on, waving to the fans. He's uh, his knee hurts so bad that he's wearing very tight pants. <laughs> his knee hurts so bad that he couldn't shave either. He could not shave. <laughs> well, it's a tough time. You it's know? hard to shave with your knee hurting. <laughs> well, as Shane Douglas about you that, he fucks with his you knees. You wouldn't know. <laughs> Shane Douglas wouldn't know. This is an unreal knee injury, brother. This is years and years of being Mr. WrestleMania and carrying the company. It's hard. Right. Hard well, work his on knees, knees are. Very injured here. He has worked well. three matches in the last four <laughs> months, and you cannot take that away from Shawn Michaels. He's got. I don't want to lose the sit. He picked this schedule. Do you understand me, dude? I I understand. It. I'm sorry. Well, Vince says this comes as a shock. It's a shock to WWE fans all over the world, and maybe it is really. You know, you shouldn't be considering what you give. Obviously, what you bring to the WWF has taken its toll on you, specifically your knee. I can't believe he's <laughs> looking at this dude with a straight face because he fucking knows, he knows that Shawn Michaels up. is an unbelievable piece of shit. He's just looking at They are getting ram dogged ass style by WCW, and the champion of the world goes, I have to go home. I gotta go. I and go. I'm going to make a call over to WCW. CW to see if they're rocking a spot for me and my shitty knee. Well, maybe That's we the are, only dude. thing. That's the only way that Vince Vince had to like cater to whatever Sean wanted. Otherwise, he was going to WCW, and that would have been You're like right. a nail in the coffin for WWF. So he had to like <laughs> the ultimate ball licking, cock sucking Vince McMahon. <laughs> Please don't go to WCW. <laughs> well, he always says, as you're facing a knee operation, I wonder if you would share with your millions of fans <laughs> what's going millions. through your head. And, and Sean means. says uh, a lot of shit, man. <laughs> Sean says it's uh, unfortunately for him, it's much more serious than it was last time. He's never had a doctor look him in the face and say that I may never be able to wrestle again because they've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sean's Sean's dentist told him his knee was <laughs> real fucked. <laughs> This is Isaac Yanko yeah, looking at his long knee. Longest yard, you walk into the bar and do goes, you take a look at my knee? Because, yeah, easy, not of ever. <laughs> you, can, you can see my doctor, dude. I got a doctor that'll analyze you very quickly, brother. Whatever you, you need, dude. You found out what dude. was wrong with my penis very fast. Same, <laughs> eight surgeries, brother. Dr. Pepper. Let me take a look at that knee, daddy. <laughs> So Sean, Sean, by the way, Sean's knee is, I mean, Obliterated, it is, James. it is oh, fucked up. It is turned to shreds. It is, no it, it's in 10 different pieces in shreds. <laughs> Continue. Let's talk about it. I look like it was a meat grinder. It's shredded to pieces. Sean's got the, Sean's got the Mr. Deeds knee. <laughs> and and he comes out here walks back and he, forth. Yeah, he comes out here walking. You're just walking the ring. I'm just well, a sexy know. boy. Sexy boy. <laughs> uh, it's not here. You. Vince, is, Vince is standing in the ring with Grill Monsoon. They're, everyone's about to lose their jobs because Eric Bischoff is <laughs> fucking these dudes the long way. No, I hear you. Knee hurts. <laughs> not only that. This is like a 10 minute segment. He stands still, straight legged, talking for 10 minutes, and he's fine. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This was unbelievable. Well, uh, it's, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, doctor looked at me, uh, and, uh, so, uh the other day, uh, 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 I was told the other day, uh, this is what Triple H got his cadence. <laughs> of course, it's not something I believe, but the fact that it's something I have to deal with, time is taking its toll on my body. So Sean is cutting this fucking promo, <laughs> talking about his knee, and all of a sudden you hear, we want Sid. <laughs> I said, holy shit. I could not believe it. I didn't remember that at all. That is incredible. <laughs> we want Sid Chant. And Vince says, no, you don't. <laughs> I promise you, you don't. And I'll make sure you don't want fucking Sid. We gave Sid eight minutes later tonight. You tell me after that match if you still want Sid. Now back to you, Sean. <laughs> Vince says, I know you're disappointed as anyone else that you aren't defending your belt against Sid or anyone else. No one has taken on more challengers than you. And no one had to endure the kind of schedule that you have taken. Oh, well, yeah, the four matches in. It, six dude, months. It, yeah, the, what are you doing last eight months? Uh, okay, well, you buried the British Bulldog. You buried fucking everybody else you faced. Uh, we don't have anybody else for you to bury, so 
Yeah, well, there's one thing about me, says Shawn Michaels. I can't do anything halfway. They can't chant Sid's name or If Brett's I'm going to bury you, dude, it's going to be full <laughs> way. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> dude, he, sa- he says they can chant Sid's name or Brett's name. They didn't even, say- they didn't even mention Brett. <laughs> there was actually a guy in the back chanting, we want Vader. We want Vader. <laughs> well, we'll get you that later, too. You'll see how much you want Vader. <laughs> That's basically what was happening. Every time like a name would be brought up, Vince would be like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean says, uh, you're all going to you know, have that all in the future. Uh, that's what I want for the WWE fans. This, he is like going this crazy. Is so, this is so fucked up. He's like, yeah, you can chat for Sid or Brett. You know, I Do really want, want the World Wrestling Federation to succeed. Like, yeah, I'm doing this I for the world. I want you all world to Re- have a good time and enjoy themselves. You know, I tried to be the one to provide it, whether it was on the good side or bad side. What was he always says, important to me was the performance. The, the, best, is, the best is, he goes, in spite of uh, what people think about me, uh, I always <laughs> wanted was for all these people is to come and have, have a good, good time. time. Time and enjoy themselves. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> Sean, you have it, shit coming out of your ears. That's how full of shit you are. <laughs> Dude, this is iconic. Thank you, Tony. I agree. Sean Michaels has that shit coming out of his ears. So here's what I'm saying here. <laughs> Sean's, this shit was so backhanded. Yeah, you guys fucking chant for whoever you want because I'm leaving and you can have them and good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Holy, right. man. It's yeah. Vince and Gorilla Monster just standing there. Yeah, he said he didn't. You know, he didn't want you to regret buying a ticket because they knew if they saw my name on the card, they could come and cheer and boo, and they would have a good time. Well, over the last couple months, there's been a lot of talk of people having bad attitudes revolving around this belt. Yo, that's just you. Yo, <laughs> Dave Melzer, <laughs> they're just talking about you, bro. Dave Melzer has got these dudes in a chokehold. I love how like this shit yeah, did not right. matter fucking at all, and they would bring it up constantly on TV. Yeah, yeah, nobody, right. nobody, I never knew as a kid, like, oh, what the hell no is going No way, on? how many people, I mean, like, realistically, yes, the Observer was popular, but how many people, like, outside of the business were, yeah, in like, terms of realistically, were watching the show? Yeah. Yeah. No way, it had to, the numbers cannot. There's like, there's, like, 10 million people watching Monday Night Raw, and it's peaking, like, there's no way, like, anybody yeah, knows Do you think that the Observer had, like, 10, uh, even 10,000 subscriptions? <laughs> there's no way. Like, uh, like, had 11 million. million, he was no out way. drawing Raw every week. <laughs> Everybody, I remember all the La Femme Nikita fans were Juan subscribers because they wanted to get all the insider information. They waited by the mailbox every every week for the Juan to come. They wanted, yeah, they wanted their sheets of paper. They waited for, the, wait for the TV guy in the Juan. A week, two weeks after the show Where's aired. Where's my Juan, brother? That was like one of the most popular phrases. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks I after this Juan show I aired. Want it now. That's what they were saying. <laughs> what happened two weeks ago on Raw? I gotta know what Sean was talking about. Dude, how else are you gonna hear about fucking Hashimoto's reign in Japan? I gotta get the one, man. Bro. God damn. 11 million people waiting La for the one. Nikita fans, huge fucking Hashimoto fans. Always have been. They, I mean, for whatever they reason, be. they were tapped in. I mean, <laughs> <of> paper. <laughs> waiting for yeah, my Hella paper. sheets of paper in the mail. <laughs> my stapled sheets. Sheets. They were getting crazy <laughs> ass sheets, man. We're talking it's like an envelope. They just put a stamp on a piece of paper and send it out. Oh, They're rocking, man. <laughs> from well, Dave. Sean, Sean says I have to have everything checked. I don't know where I am right now. What? <laughs> okay. Where am I? <laughs> I may be beyond reconstructive knee surgery. Oh, if I can't damn. come back and perform at the level I perform at before, I can't perform. I can't come out here and just go half ass. I have to come out here and romp and stomp and get tossed around and toss people around and I have to have fun. You're killing the business. <laughs> You're killing the business, bro. The schedule over the last year I took on because I felt I couldn't say no. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to enjoy my life as champion. I wanted to ride in Lear Jets and limousines and be on TV shows and do autographs. And I got to do that. He took, no- <laughs> bro, he took the hard schedule because he wanted to be a Lear Jets and limos and <laughs> Vader, the you best, fat the best. piece of shit. Vader, you the best. fucker. Fuck you, Vader and Sid and Sean Dude, the best and Slide comes up is he goes at the end of the day if nothing else you know I have all that to take with me the Jets and the limo ride I'm taking is that what with he me. Had. I'm <laughs> glad I got to do that I will remember my Jets and limos of course <laughs> he said unfortunately I don't have the toughness uh, I know we're in the middle of a time where toughness is real big in the WWF but unfortunately I don't have toughness for anybody I'm a giant pussy so, so here you go here's your belt <laughs> he just gives him he gives Gorilla Monsoon the belt he says what am I going to do is go back home 
and see what's left for me. Whether it's to be in the ring or out of the ring, I know that over the last several months I've lost a lot of things, and one of them has been my smile. And I don't, and I know it doesn't mean a whole lot to everyone else, but it leads, means a lot to me. I have to go back and fix myself and take care of myself, and I have to go back and find my smile. And you know what? If you decide to not put Sid over and book this gizzle, maybe I'll look back. Hey, bro- <laughs> hey brother, the, the, the promo was about your shitty knee. <laughs> Yeah, well, don't worry. My, what I'm are you sad. talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? What about your knee? I don't there care if it's so popular. People want to make fun of me because I'm an emotional guy. What uh, are you talking I, about? I, I thought your <laughs> knee hurt. Hey, well, hey, I want to this... tell you, last year was wonderful. <laughs> All the old ladies are crying in the crowd at this, by the it's way. When you lost yeah, they, smile. There are yeah. two ladies crying in the crowd. No, at there's at least four. There's at least four. <laughs> they zoomed in crazy. The BWO guy has a shirt off. He's fucking swinging in the air. Woo! Come yes, hey, go get your ass ECW. smoked ECW. over here, ECW. bro. Yeah. Big Stevie Cool's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Big Stevie Cool's in a parking lot, brother. He's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I just want to tell you, last year was the most wonderful year of my life, and I never get to do it again. I'll be okay. That's I got it. To live one year as being the number one guy in the business, and I have you to thank, Vince. And I'm gonna go home now. There are four, he, at least four people on this show that reap the fucking destruction of the heartbreak <laughs> kid, bro. Dude, at there's least. so many. Yeah, there's so many people that get pushed because of this one losing the smile thing. It's incredible. Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, he hugs Vince, and Vince, is, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Michaels, and now Sean, he, he daps up Gorilla Monsoon. He goes out of the ring onto the apron. And it is the longest stretch of time between him hitting the floor and getting to the stage because now he has an incredibly bad limp. The dude, schism he has dude, flared up. Dude, he's <laughs> walking like Vince McMahon when he kicked Gowan's leg out of him. That's how yeah, Sean is yeah, walking. Yeah. <laughs> Gorilla Monsoon and Vince just stomped his knee to smithereens <laughs> and he's limping. Dude, it's his like, knee oh. is so fucked up that he makes the four post fucking <laughs> handshake. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> he went all the way around. And he goes through the middle of the rope to get out of the ring and all. Oh, <laughs> Jumps off the apron. <laughs> Dude, halfway through the fucking he promo, he just fucking forgets about his shitty knee. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just really upset, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just sad. They didn't let me do this because I mean, it's really funny. I hey, really you know just, what? I'm not losing to Sid, guys. I'm not fucking losing to Sid. <laughs> Guys, do you understand how much Sid sucks? I'm not losing to Sid. You guys don't know what you're doing here. I lost my smile and I'll never find it again. Well, Sean's no got to go train Brian Danielson. And you know what? That's, it works know. better out by way. I'll take that. Yeah, sure. That's fair. Well, JR says, Godspeed. Uh, goodbye, Sean. And Godspeed. And he's just going last, home. You see Sean Michaels for uh, two months. Yeah, that's what I say. He comes back and he has a couple of things to fucking do. He's got to bury like there's shit. We got three matches coming up. He's about to bury everybody in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, his knee is all, you know, he might never wrestle again. You fucking dude. Shit, reconstructive. Know. Never again ever do anything with a knee. And he's back within. He's back by the end of the year, isn't he? October or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. He's on commentary for the Mania main event. Well, he did not need surgery. Uh, he underwent four weeks of physical therapy and returned to in-ring a few months later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So, all right, let's get into it. So, from The Observer, February 24th, 97, Meltzer writes, uh, Michael's career was teased as being over due to a knee injury portrayed on television Thursday as being so bad, even reconstructive surgery may not be able to repair the damage as teary-eyed Michaels, whose problem was clearly in the interview not a knee surgery, said farewell to the WWF in a classic interview repeated to death on television and pay-per-view about 100 times in the ensuing weekend. It wound up only... It wound up only to have noted orthopedic surgeon Dr. Jim Andrews say Michael's knee injury wouldn't even require surgery at all, and that after four to six weeks of rehab, he may be able to return. <laughs> Reconstructive. The doctor told him he was going to die on the table. <laughs> he said the doctor looked him in the face and said, you are done, brother. Sean's never seen a doctor. <laughs> First time ever, doctor. Well, this sent shockwaves throughout the industry because it was totally unexpected. Apparently, the WWF higher-ups received word at 6 p.m. the previous night from Michaels that he was taking time off when Michaels informed (laughs) WWF officials that his doctor in San Antonio had told him his knee surgery could be career-ending. Of course, that was Dr. Michael Hickenbottom. (laughs) 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 6 p.m.? 6 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. on on Wednesday. (laughs) 5.30 5.30 on Wednesday, you got a text saying Sid's going over. (laughs) His, do- his doctor said there's just no way his knee's gonna hold up for that one. M. Hickenbottom said I can't. You can't wrestle. 
No <laughs> sources claim that they chose this tact uh, with the four way to do uh, rather than do an angle or uh, the interview, excuse me, rather than do an angle on Michael's knee with a wrestler like Sid or Steve Austin to give him a grudge match upon his return because they were afraid of doing any further damage to the knee. Uh, observer from March 3rd, 97, the story on Shawn Michaels at press time appears to be that it is become more, it, it becoming more acknowledged within the WWF that more likely than not his leaving had to do with being burned out from all the travel and pressure and needing a break, combined with the timing of having to put over Sid for the WWF title on February 13th special and knowing he was going to follow it up in his next high-profile match having to put Bret Hart over at WrestleMania. Michael saw how Hart improved his stock by walking out last year and that may have affected his decision, combined with the fact that he's good friends with Nash, Hall, and Waltman, all of whom appear to be very smart in handling their personal business and using whatever leverage at the right time to make the right moves. There is little dispute... There is little dispute he, that he had knee surgery, but the belief is that it's something he could have continued to work on if he wanted to, although it was bad enough that any doctor would have recommended taking time off, and this was an opportunity. You know what's crazy, man, is that these guys are friends, but mm -hmm. they're so different. Like, Yeah, super different. Triple H and Sean, for whatever reason, gave a fuck about the belts. Yes. But I don't know. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash did I not yeah, at I don't all. think so. Yeah, I don't think I don't remember like you know, when you hear about like them talking about any like when you talk about any backstage stuff with Nash and, and Hall. I don't know if it's even about like necessarily their push. Maybe Nash. How many but, times like, did Nash get the belt in WCW and we watch shoots where he goes, I don't even know why they gave me the belt. I just it was took more, it. it was always money that he really yeah, he they always just, wanted, they wanted. It was money. always money. The contract they had that little contract where they could get more money. Which if other is people favorite came nations, in. which is base. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. They just wanted more money. They already had their. We and, and WCW. And I actually don't think you. I, I don't know if it was different in WWF contracts where you're like if you were the champion, you got higher rates for your sure. work dates or whatever the case may be. Yeah, that's how it I, was. I, yeah. I, yeah, I assume like there was like a rate difference or like a percentage difference on the house. Sure, but. WCW, I don't think there was. So it was just like... Oh, okay. No, no, no. Because like uh, WWF, as Vince always says, we give opportunities. So yeah, yeah, so it was really... Hurt. Yeah, your place on the card in the WWF mattered, I guess. And like, the you know, championships matter or whatever, you know. So like, Sean and Triple H were like very adamant that like, you know, they need to be the champion or like they'd work out some bullshit like that. But I, like yeah. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash didn't give a fuck. Like even... Hall definitely did it. I don't... But yeah, I don't... Like I said, we watched a ton of Nash shoots. I don't really remember him. He, if anything, I feel like he hated having the belt because everyone was always mad when he had the belt. You know what? I think Nash really wanted the belt when he was in WWF as Diesel because I think... Because he would be well, the champ you know, going, first... going... He'd go into Mania and then you'd get yeah. the Mania payday with being sure. champ at Mania and then all that. That's how it played sure. out. But, but then when he... He was just all about the money. So he just wanted to be champ. Is there stories money. of Nash... I mean, I, I like <laughs> I really don't know. Is there stories of Nash politicking that even keep that belt? The WF1? Like, who's he dropping? I don't he think so. Sean, right? No, I don't think he politicked. If anyone politicked to, keep, to let him keep the belt, it'd probably been Sean. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, all the times we heard, you know, Nash talk about, you know, in, in, in podcasts or whatever, because... Uh, you know, those stories change a million times, but I of think course, the yeah, one yeah. consistent has always been that like Nash in WCW, they, and he never understood why he got the belt because it was just like, you know, who cares? Because it's like, he yeah, didn't, right. one, he didn't give a fuck. And like, yeah. you know, once they went, once they stopped on the outsider stuff and he was still getting the belt, so it was just like, there's a hundred thousand guys that probably could have used the belt other than him. Sure. He's making the, the argument, most money people... and... Yeah, you're right. The one argument I probably people will bring up was the Goldberg one because he ends the streak and wins the belt there, and I think he was booking, but I don't know if that is the same. He was, I think he said. Well, you know, like I said, podcast. That's right. That yeah, who knows, right? Yeah, who yeah, knows? Exactly. But I yeah. think he said. I remember him saying that, like, you know, it's not like he he didn't politic to do that or anything. They just said that was just like everyone agreed. Yeah, they just said that he right. You know, I do he remember that do too. It. And he's like, yeah. you know, it was, he, I think he said he, he felt like they felt like he was getting stale and they needed to do something new with them. So sure. the idea was to do that. But of course, then I think that leads into like, you know, so is that like close to the finger poke of doom? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, then so. NWO, NWO reform. The idea was they were gonna he was going to beat Goldberg and then Goldberg would come back and beat all the NWO up. Was it the right? Plan. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's not going to work for me, brother. I'm going to tell you that, dude. dude. No, 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 brother. I, I think, think it's pretty fun to politics. I think, yeah, actually, the, brother. The house is kind of up right now, I think, dude. <laughs> that's why Nash wasn't politicking because Hogan was doing it for him. You know yeah, what, brother? really, brother. You guys had it all wrong. You should have politicked for the money and the belts, dude. That's what I was doing, brother. <laughs> and then Shawn Michaels walks in and says, brother, I agree 100% with you, dude. <laughs> I, you know what's crazy is like, what crazy timing that is where, uh, you know, Houses are crazy down. Fucking uh, WWF is whooping their fucking ass on TV. 
And then you know what the worst thing you could fucking do is? Is put it on the master politicker, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> the houses are down. He's not going to show up to the fucking shows. To make it even worse. He's not going to show up to the shows. The houses are down. Only shows at the nitros where they sell. They pre, the pre sell is at a certain percentage. So yeah. he's not fucking showing up. And then when he does show up, he's like, look, brother, I brought the house, house dude. dude. Look at the yeah, house. The house We're going to beat brother. this big man, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Kevin Nash booking the show. Like, oh, my goodness. You want to talk about, like, wrestling? I ain't never seen anything like this, bro. Dude, he was a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> and he probably... Dude, he probably he's gonna he's about to have a run this year. Dude, <laughs> Sean Sean held Sean held that against him for he's like I thought I was the master politicker, but Hulk yeah. Hogan was a different breed. He came to the WWF and they met face to face. They had to do that fucking the 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 showdown of the century at SummerSlam. Dude, and Sean still couldn't out Sean Still <laughs> lost the fucking politicking. He couldn't out politic Hogan in 05. He should have went. He should have went to WCW, joined the NWO. You know. This is not even prime Hogan politicking. And you're still lost. No matter what, (laughs) you cannot. Sean, you're second best at everything, brother. Brett's number one, and Hogan's got you beat on politicking, dude. So why don't you go home and you figure some things out and don't come back? Dude, I never that I like you know they tell the stories of Sean being pissed about the Hogan thing, but it definitely wasn't just from that. That's like a like years of built up like fuck Hogan. He's just pissed that Hogan outpoliticed him in life, made more money, <laughs> made more money, <laughs> fucking crazy houses. WF wasn't wasn't the Georgia Dome sellouts, brother, and that was all Hogan. <laughs> Hogan did that. <laughs> You know what? Sean doesn't care. He could you, as long as you come and you cheer and you have a good time and you can do Sean whatever is, you want. Shawn Michaels Sean is, is a- running the low Worcester fucking arena <laughs> garbage fucking fifteen. Hogan's over there working fifty second matches with Roddy Piper selling out sixty thousand arenas Sean, on my back, brother. This Sean busted back, was, dude. He, he wished he was as big of a ball licker as Hogan. He will never reach <laughs> you the balls. You are that not even licked. close, brother. <laughs> you are not big enough to lick balls of God. You don't have that in you. <laughs> Think twice before you start licking. In these balls, brother. <laughs> no one, you cannot out shitty Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels. Not even on. I could have bought CNN if I wanted, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so Thursday Raw Thursday is brought to you by Western yeah. Union. Well, WCW oh, also Reddit, that too. So Reddit gives us all their hot takes and what they think oh, the sure, actual me. loss to smile was. Um, Go on. Someone made a funny joke. Every time I see someone talk about the click and losing his smile there's always a snide comment about how he got shane douglas's real life gimmick taking summers off that's what Shawn Michaels <laughs> what I want, what, oh because he's a teacher of course that means yes, rough because, sex because oh, shane okay, douglas had summers off because he's a teacher and sean always right. had the summer off because he didn't want to work the summer brother right uh, this person says official story sean michaels was injured uh sean's story sean was injured on drugs the real story sean was injured on drugs and didn't want a job to brett there was a uh, or sid yeah. Oh my God! This was Soma's Michaels. I totally yeah. forgot that yeah. this was that yes, era. It was. Holy yeah. shit! Soma's yeah, Michaels, this, this is and you're getting out by... politic by Hulk Hogan, brother. You're on a rough life path right now, dude. Better turn <laughs> dude. it around, brother. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is also the Shawn Michaels that got beat up by the Navy SEALs in the bar. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, no bitches Michaels. Hulk Hogan's got you on strings. Dude, he was he was wrestling in the ring and he just collapsed in the ring. Remember that? Hulk Hogan. Because he got his ass whooped by the Navy he got, SEALs. Because he got beat by the Navy SEALs. Dude, back Dick in the Marcico day. Dick whooped his ass? <laughs> Dictator. Dude, <laughs> Sean Smith. There was this rumor. I just, this unlocked some like hidden door back in the day. You know how we always talk about rumors yeah. like what's going on what really yeah. happened when Sean, when Sean collapsed one of my friends swore that Jerry Lawler threw a pencil in Bret Hart's or in Shawn Michaels eye because he collapsed and grabbed his eye and he said Jerry Lawler threw a pencil in his eye and swore that that was what really happened in this that's he awesome probably, you know he probably still believes that to this day yeah he's probably, probably, he probably if you talk to him again he'll bring that up it's not it's not <laughs> like he ever learned the truth or anything that so. was just in like you know elementary school oh yeah that's what really happened he threw a pencil in his eye and he collapsed that's awesome. and that's what really went down I actually believe his story too. back in elementary school man dudes just lied for nothing we weren't even lying 
lying for anything in particular. It's no, not, we not just lied, lied for the you bitch. Yeah, yeah, just it's lied not, even, not even lying. Yeah, we're not even lying for anything. We're just lying. Like, yeah. That's just what we, you know, that's what Ellen Mary's going to do. They just lie. I don't know. That's it was crazy. Fun. Yeah, it was just funny. It's fun to do that's bad things. That's what we things. try to do on this podcast. <laughs> I don't think we've <laughs> ever, the feeling. we've never lied on this show. I, I'm, Where's the lie? Not here. Not here. Not a deadlock. I got to tell you that. So they said, last thing on here, interesting note, Brett. Went to have one of the greatest matches of all time, fight Steve Austin at WrestleMania. Would have never happened if it wasn't for this. Base oh, yeah. fucking yeah. Bret Hart goes on and steals the spotlight and takes yeah, the fucking right. show over. You know what? Creates a you star know, in Stone Cold. But you know what? If Sean would have never lost a smile, then Stone Cold would have never been a star. Bret would have never had the, the match. It, well, and, WCW know, would have won. It's all thanks to Sean. It's all so, thanks to Sean. Because Sean lost a smile, WF won. That's what happened. <laughs> Thank you, <Yeah>. Sean Michaels. <laughs> Crazy. Sean Tony does it wins again. in the end. He does it again. Tony losing his smile just no, creates a whole bunch of WWE stars. WWE still exists today, so no, Tony loses. Or does it? Or does it? <laughs> or does it? Read the headline. Well, brother, the headline told me one way or another, dude. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to find out sometime soon. Well, let's talk about Savio Vega versus the Oh, Undertaker. this cross not over? Come on. This no way, brother. Oh, yeah, Savio Vega versus that was Undertaker, the end of the dude. fucking show. We got 20 <laughs> matches left, man. I thought so, too. Yeah, yeah, no. You got uh, right, Savio so, Vega and the Dead Man. All right, so Undertaker versus Savio Vega. I have seen this Nation. match 500 times, and yes. I have also never seen it once. It is not worth seeing, but what is worth seeing is J.C. Ice and Wolfie D doing the Nation of Domination. That is intro. awesome. I love that every time <laughs> Dude, I see that. They all, a- Nation comes out with Savio Vega, and all J.C. Ice and Wolfie PG-13 do are yell, Savio! <laughs> they just keep yelling, Savio! <laughs> I'm like, oh, this That's is awesome. awesome. And then they're yelling, turn the fucking mics on! <laughs> I said, what? That's <laughs> our lucky Ali got it. Turn the fucking music on! <laughs> Well, lights out, and here comes the Undertaker. Uh, no Asa Timberley yet, though, Tony. Sorry about that. No, this, I don't. This, this guy. I, I don't like the Undertaker anymore. I'm sorry. You nah, still this like guy like sucks, man. <laughs> Yo, oh my goodness. Savio Vegas should have womped this dude crazy style. Well, Undertaker is. He, Undertaker throws Savio in the corner and hits him with the crazy ass soup bone punches. <laughs> because, of Just, course, I as I the I dead t- man with the eye tattoo, with the fucking. Like what is what is who is this guy in the corner with the punches? Old school. He does old school before it's called old school. Right here, it's called. I stole this from Makushi. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this match is super nothing. Salvio hits a bunch of spinning heel kicks that Taker no sells. Finally gets him down with a running one. Uh, Salvio sends Taker in the ropes and then ducks down. And Undertaker decides he's going to invent the famous. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before. So Taker <laughs> Taker goes to jump over Savio and then somehow he like hits a brick wall. I don't know. He like falls out of the air. They turn, yeah, gravity gets intensified and Taker falls right down onto him and almost kills Savio Vega. It's not even like <laughs> it like literally up. you have to look at it because it's unbelievable. It's not like anything went wrong. Taker just studied. Taker just fell out of the air. <laughs> You're right. It's super yeah, strange. It's, yeah, it's very weird. Uh, well, Taker hits Savio with what JR calls the Death Valley Choke Slam and gets the win. A uh, big pop. Then the nation jump the Undertaker. There are so many people in this ring right now. Dude, it's D'Lo, PG-13, uh, Clarence Mason is in there <laughs> just trying to beat Undertaker <laughs> up. Taker's fucking them all up. Then here comes Farouk and Crush, and then they all stomp out Taker in the corner. They're then ringing the Ahmed bell like John- crazy the whole time. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, oh yeah, ringing the bell, huge style. Ahmed Johnson with two layers of knee pads <laughs> comes out and entire, makes the same. Entire, and none of them's on his knees. <laughs> They're all on his thighs. They're quadded up <laughs> every crazy. time. This dude's what crazy. F- crazy knee pads, two on each above his knee. And Ahmed Johnson makes a save. Taker and Ahmed clean house. Double choke slam from Taker to PG-13. Undertaker and Ahmed Johnson is the most fucked up team I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, did you know that WF In Your House Final Four has got that Western Union? Yeah, I did know that because Jerry Lawler sends in a money order to his mom to buy gifts for him for Valentine's Day. I don't know what the hell that was. That was Dude, crazy. I don't even understand what the fuck they were talking about. Like, that's what? <laughs> well, we have Stone Cold versus Sid. Stone Cold has the, uh, the sh- like, Stone Cold comes out. 
And I don't, th- something's wrong here. You know, <laughs> you know what it is. This isn't Stone Cold here. You know what it is. What's Steve that? Austin ain't on them Trimbaloni sandwiches, you shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, dude, he's skinny here, bro. He is small. He's, You're right. He's small, oh no God, traps. Oh my God, that is. He looks so weird. Yeah, so he comes out and he's fucking. Oh my God. Steve Austin, when he's not on the Trimbaloni sandwiches, <laughs> Actually, <laughs> kind of sexual. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve Austin comes out. Fucking Steve, lips. Yeah, Steve Austin goes out. Moist lips. Gets the camera a nice little <laughs> peek over to see what's yeah. going on over here. He um, stares deep into the eyes of the viewer at home with his this supple, wet lips. Yeah, and this is no this traps. Is the, that's, <laughs> this is the that's cold, that's stone cold era. Yes, it is. This this is just natty Steve Austin, and like this ain't working, bro. We're wow. gonna have to get you loaded he up, man. He hadn't had his match with Brett yet, so he's not. Really yeah, you're right. In yet. Yeah, this Dude, was that, crazy. That's, I didn't, even, James. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it's the trimbaloni sandwiches. I, I it took me a second too. Then I started watching the match. I said, "Where's this motherfucker's lat spread?" Yeah. And I said, yeah. oh my God, it's because he's fucking natty. <laughs> that is unreal. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, he comes out and looks real sexy right in the camp. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> he's, he's like oh, real. Like, even during the match, like real sexual. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> That's it's, a sexy bastard dude, right here. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. This is like, this is not, this is crazy. Yeah, we go backstage. Doc Hendricks is with Gorilla Monsoon now, of course. Doc says, this is a uh, Gorilla Monsoon does not want to talk to this fucking guy because Doc Hendricks says, "Well, now the title's vacant. Can you explain your reasoning for the final four match at the t- for the title?" This is also the shittiest mic ever that they're using. <laughs> they're <laughs> running. It keeps fucking slamming against them or some shit, bro. <laughs> Dude, Gorilla Monsoon, man, he's like, I don't even know what's happening right now. I don't even know if he's listening. He looks like he's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> he doesn't even answer the question. He's high as yeah, hell. Yeah, he's been sobering out and stuff. Like, it's like when someone talks to you, like, like someone talking to you, but you're thinking of something else, and they're like, what'd you say to me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's James trying to talk to me while I'm typing. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. Exactly. Dude, <laughs> mouth mouth open, gorilla monsters. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. We're live, pal. This We're is live. crazy. He asked, him, he asked him about the match, and Gorilla Monsoon says, I "Well, I thought I was doing know. what would be fair. You know, when a champ forfeits, it's a very disheartening thing for everyone." And I'm like, "What? What are, what are you, you talking, talking about, about, bro?" Well, Doc Hendricks says that seems fair. Why? Why'd you leave out Sid? And he says, well, I'm trying to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, girl of my soup. But gosh, <laughs> damn, bro. He's called Final Four, not Final Five, all right? Yeah, we can't damn do shit. That. Well, he said Sid's going to get a shot at the belt on the Raw after the pay-per-view. And Doc says, wow, big news. Wow, what a terrific audience. All right, cool. <laughs> well, see you, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and burp, scrub, scrub to him. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to get hit this shit back here. I gotta this shit. <laughs> he probably got the necklace with the spoon underneath his shirt right there. He pulls I got to run out. through Sean's stash before he leaves. <laughs> so I get your ass back here. <laughs> 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 He's right there going, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that Gorilla Monsoon just hit like a crazy bump and Doc <laughs> just goes, hey, hey, come promo. We got to talk. Promo, come here, come here. Pal. He goes over there, mouth That's the gape, just looks at him. Gorilla Monsoon's like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, what do you think of that time? And Gorilla Monsoon says, well, that room snoots and boots. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think about that title? Jelly be thy gumai shelly, jelly belly. Oh my god! Okay, I'm interrupting. I'm interrupting the show right now because we told we said we were going to talk about this and we didn't talk about this because Tony somehow we never told the story about the hotel room after the first anniversary show. And we need to talk. Oh about yeah, this. we did never talk about that. That was crazy. <laughs> this is insane. So we're, we, uh, we, what we get? We Why got did that out, make right? you think of it? Because it, you'll understand it in a second. <laughs> okay, you'll understand it in a second. So we got okay. cooked out. It's James, Tony, and I. All right, just, a hotel so, just room. So, I'm sure a lot of people have no fucking clue. So DPW <laughs> is something way. that we do with the wrestling company. <laughs> So we run a wrestling wrestling. company called Deadlock Pro Wrestling. Nothing to do with Deadlock the podcast, by the way. It's different. Deadlock Pro Wrestling. We did our first anniversary show, Deadlock Pro Wrestling. That's one year of us running a show. We've been running this promotion for a year. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> so it's after the show. James, Tony, and I in a hotel room. We cook out with the milkshakes. I got a bo- I got Butterfinger milkshake. It was very good. Dude, the Butterfinger uh, milkshake is goaded, bro. And then James shit his whole ass. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> dude. The craziest dude of all time. Yeah, dude. I don't even know. I don't even know if the last Butterfinger piece hit my mouth before I said, oh. <laughs> Craziest dookie of all Dude, time. The I voted you, for you, 2022 you Denny cook- Dookie of the Year. Yeah, but I so kept it way- pretty like low key though. I mean, I like shit the way, like, you out, the way you keep your cookout what? is fucked up, bro. Your cookout. Me? Yeah, you put the tenders on the case. Okay, DA, first off, this is shout out. I respect that. Shout out Tommy. He found he figured out the tech. No, Tommy's uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah Tommy, Tommy's, Tommy's tech. That. Tommy figured out the tech. Uh, I just followed through with it. Sure, so yeah, what you it. do is you get you get the cookout. You get the chicken tender cookout tray. You get three chicken tenders. You get yeah. two chicken quesadillas, and you get the butterfinger milkshake. You ask for cookout sauce because they're gonna ask you what sauce you want. Cookout sauce. Sure. Then you put the. Chicken quesadilla down. You put a line like you're putting down, like you know the good shit. The cookout Grill right there. Style. Yeah, yeah, right down the middle <laughs> of the chicken quesadilla. You put the chicken tender on top. Put a little bit more sauce on top so you can smack the bits down, chicken tender style. Wrap it around. Dip it in the cookout sauce. Yo, you're oh, wow. cooking. It's awesome. It's amazing. I have Dude, not by watched the way, you eat, so I didn't know you did this. Yeah, <laughs> that is the most fucked up thing ever. Because eight dollars, you're gonna. You're gonna shit immediately. That's oh my god, bro! Up. Yes, dude. That's what I'm saying. The butter. It's the milkshake, man. The milkshake was fucking. It, it got me. So we. It was also a little party here because I uh, James somehow found. Was it Modelo's? Oh yeah. I, I, uh, no nah, Corona was, extras. Right. Okay. So boys drinking. Modelo's? I'm not drinking because I'm. A yeah, because we went to cookout. I it was or, for we, went some to, we went to cookout and James went to hotels. Oh no, it was Corona breakfast. extras because right. I was looking for limes. Right. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Did you? Did you have limes? Nah, I didn't. She's in no limes. limes. So no limes. Boys are drinking. (laughs) I'm in... uh, So I'm in one bed. James is in one bed. Tony's in a chair, just chilling. At some point, Tony ends up at the foot of James's bed, like, practically laying on his legs. And for... I, I don't know if it was an hour, but it felt like it was an hour. Tony is sipping on this drink, playing Burger King foot lettuce for an hour Dude, I'm long. Not just, not just Burger King foot lettuce, but all the remixes of Burger it's, King foot lettuce songs, in music form. It's songs, Burger I King I kicked out lettuce. a Burger King foot lettuce rabbit hole. My YouTube fucking recommendations Dude. have not been the same since then. Dude. And just, James is gone, gone. Just, I just want to put it into perspective here. We just had like a 17-hour day. <laughs> It's yeah, 4 a.m. We just ran me, one of the best wrestling shows we ever done. By the yeah, the best. You should watch it right now. We have a wrestling company yes. called Deadlock. Dude, Pro we've been running the company for a year. If you guys didn't <laughs> know, whole year. Yeah, um, yeah. DPW Live is actually where you can yeah, find it. Yeah, check that out. James, you're right because we and we we had to drive pretty far for this fucking show in the early morning, 17 hour day. Yeah, it had the what? Okay, so we had, we left the house or we got up at like 6 a.m. It's yeah. probably like three in the four, three or four in the morning. Almost twenty four hours. Yeah, after it's actually it's probably show. it's actually longer than seven. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's like three or four a.m. Yeah, right. yeah. And Tony, I'm it's literally just I'm <laughs> in the bed under the covers. We have to wake up in like six hours to drive <laughs> to the truck out. three hours back to home and, and then unload and it. then unload the truck. So I'm trying to get some fucking sleep, and Tony's at the fucking in the bed, Corona extra. <laughs> Number 15, Burger King <laughs> foot lettuce. Let me explain this in terms that I can see it here because James just <laughs> nodded off. He wasn't even like upset or anything. James he just is fell awake. Asleep. No, he is nodding <laughs> off. Falling asleep. I don't remember That's- every one of the Burger King foot lettuces. All yeah, of them. sleeping over there. I'm dying laughing. I'm not helping because it's only encouraging Tony to continue. Because I feel is like James- every like two minutes I go, Tony. And number 15 Burger <laughs> King were half asleep lettuce. the whole time. James is trying his best to be like, he, James is laughing, but I can see that he really wants Tony <laughs> to get the fuck out of his bed. I'm not leaving, bro. It's not time to go to sleep yet. <laughs> Tony decided it was not time for any of us to sleep. Johnny was laughing. We were having a good time. I don't I know what James dying. was doing. So there you I go. was dying. And I, I, it didn't go an hour, but it felt like it fucking did it. Every, every foot lettuce was like Every other bro. video, James said, Tony, get out. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Number 15. <laughs> like, it was literally like he played with Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> number 15. There was one that like, one of the, like, had the vine booms in it. And it was like the rock. <laughs> yeah. Number 15. Boom. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Boom. There was one 
it was like Bing Chilling, number 15, Burger King Footland. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, it was, yeah. it was absolutely one of the funniest times of my life because I just, I got to watch just the whole, it didn't involve me at all. I just got to watch this show of Dude, this happening. James, James goes, I got these beers. Let's go. And then he takes one sip. I, and no, go, I, finished ready for the, bed. I finished the beer first off. That's, that's true. I finished the beer. And I was ready to go to fucking bed. <laughs> no, nah, bro. That's not how I saw the situation. But you, <laughs> oh, I can you tell. Live here, I'll live my truth, so we'll go from that. There was another person in the room, and he's right here. He's just hey, laughing. He well, was laughing worry. the whole time. I'm going to put up a poll. And we're gonna no. Oh, great. No. Put it on your Twitter. You see what you did, Tony? <laughs> You know what? Just, now we both to... lost, Tony. We were the only you know two, <laughs> and we lost. You know what? I'm with Johnny on this one. Put up Thank the you poll. so much, See Tony. what happens, yeah. Dude, so is everyone on the poll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I just had to, that story couldn't... I, I was so pissed. I can't believe we never talked about that on the pod. Sorry. So Sorry. that was all because... Sorry for the people that don't care about that, but that, some people might... Yeah, and you know, and for everybody that knows now that we do run a wrestling company, just so everybody <laughs> yeah, be not live. Yeah, check yeah, that yeah. out, man. Uh, all right, where we on Gorilla Monsoon on this shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gorilla Monsoon. <laughs> uh, oh, so it's Stone Cold oh, Sexy oh. Austin taking on Psycho Sid. We Psycho didn't with read an this S. Match I swear we already talked about. No, it. we talked about Stone Cold being sexy during his entrance. Uh, right. So Sid comes out, oh, man, big Sid Pyro. I don't uh, love Sid. Vader. Sid's awesome. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, Vader's so, Vader's coming up. Yeah, look, Sid. What's crazy to me is Sid is like effortlessly the coolest guy ever. Yeah. And then they're like, you're going to be the psycho and we're going to do name pyro and we're going to give okay. you this crazy song. I was Get like everything. Yeah. Like he was so eversly cool. Like he could have just walked to the ring and it would have been like five times as cool. And then they're like, we're going to give you all of this shit. You're right. He didn't need it. You're right. That's all. Every, every, I mean, I, I love the Sid like shit that comes down. But, I, you know, I, I just thinking to myself, why? He's like just so just cool. Yeah, it almost made know. him cheesy. Like it, like thankfully he's just too cool to like the psycho yeah. with his pyro. Yeah, look at this psycho. He said, "This is my name." His his, uh, his rehearsed entrance. He's such a psychopath that he has like a regular match, and he's mad when someone interrupts it. <laughs> well, Austin jumps him uh, as Sid is taunting in the ring. The bell rings. Austin has blue knee sleeves underneath his knee pads, and he's looking real sexy. <laughs> well, he's got a lot to show you, and well, one he's got his fucking sweet eyebrows, a good goatee going, growing here. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, I mean, plump lips. Yeah, he's definitely not. He's definitely not plastered yet. Yeah, well, that's, no, he yeah. hasn't had a drink in a minute. Yeah, he's got <laughs> one scoop of creatine coming up for the rest of his life. So, well, Sid goozles Austin, and Austin just blatantly kicks him in the balls, and the referee does not care. Matches is going on, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. Matches keeps going. Austin turns around, goes to the top rope, and does Sid's taunt on the rope. He's just being a little asshole. I said, what is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, did you see the part where uh, Steve Austin does an abdominal stretch? Yes, to Sid Vicious. <laughs> he said, look, he said, look, brother, I know you forgot everything that we called. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm going to stretch you for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's not even yes. an abdominal stretch. I don't even know what that's like the worst version of that movie. He I've put him seen. in something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, he had he the tried. wrong. Did he have the wrong leg over? Is that what it was? I mean, he didn't of... even get the arm. This was legit just arm over arm and stretch and then your he, back. He doesn't know what to do, so he just grabs the top rope because he doesn't know <laughs> well, how to put heel, the pressure in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sid catches him in a sleeper. Austin jaw breaks him for a two. Sid goes for a big leg drop, and Austin then just moves and goes to put Sid in the sharpshooter. No one on commentary acknowledges that he's going for this at all. They don't care. Because they're cares. schmitten with the sexiness of Steve Austin. <laughs> 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 it, it, look, it, look at that right in the eyes with the lips going crazy. Yeah, ass shatters. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, well, so Austin goes for the sharpshooter. No one cares. Sid uh, gets out of it. And then Bret Hart runs out and just starts whooping Austin's ass. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Sid does a sleeper here. Austin jaw jacks him. It looks yes. exactly like the like stunner. A, yes, it is. I, I, does he not do the stunner yet? But Sid kicks out it too. 
He does get no, he's doing the stunner. He's doing they don't call it the stunner for sure. No, they, well, they don't call anything. It seems like here. you're right. They don't watch the show. Yeah, they're not paying attention <laughs> at this point. They're probably thinking about Gorilla Mazud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were watching the replay of the Westminster Dog Show on their monitor. Yeah, this is good as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at that dog go. Look at that little fucking dog. <laughs> so uh, DQ Austin wins. Austin powders and leaves. Sid is not happy about this so much so that he takes a crazy like Sid invents a strike here. I don't, I've never seen somebody throw a punch like this in my life. He just does a, it's not an overhand, but it's not a jab either. It's like an in-between crazy punch. Uh, they start brawling. The referees take at least three to five minutes to break this up. Dave Hebner and Gerald Briscoe are in their craziest brown jackets they could find. <laughs> Dude, that, that Briscoe jacket's crazy. What the fuck? That's Lowell, Massachusetts' <laughs> best jackets <laughs> from the Burlington Coat Factory. The, the smoking jackets. <laughs> Uh, refs finally get yeah exactly yes refs finally get them apart from each other and uh, that is the end of that match so you get nothing from Sid versus Stone Cold except sexy Stone Cold yeah you guys had to see that entrance man that's unbelievable it's Stone Cold sexy <laughs> sto that's cold that's Stone Cold oh no yeah here we oh, go no. baby so it cuts no, backstage come on, man, no. it's Vader of course Paul Bearer <laughs> Make sure everybody acknowledges that. <laughs> Paul Bear is just standing behind him caressing an urn. And, and, and Vince McMahon yeah. goes, uh, Vader, can you hear us? And he goes, Oh yeah, I can hear yeah, you. I hear you. I hear you. What's what's what, what do you want? <laughs> he goes, Oh, well you <laughs> got a kind of promo. And He's then <laughs> It says, yeah, this Sunday, what about it? That's all he says. I said, what? Yeah, what about oh, this no. works for you? Uh, <laughs> you know, got a match coming up here. Uh, but Vader, Vader says some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, I didn't write it down, but Vader I, fucking. I did. Okay, good. He <laughs> fucking went nuts. Even. Vader said, well, Mr. McMahon, let me ask you one question. How many wrestlers in the WWF can you say in the last six weeks, six weeks, not only <laughs> taking the Undertaker on and put him on his back one, two, three. But on two separate occasions, whip Stone Cold Steve Austin's butt <laughs> on two separate occasions. Brett the Hitman hard on Raw right here. Now, do you answer that question? <laughs> Why? Well, he says Stone, thank you, Vader. Stone Cold's. Stone Cold's. Stone Cold Steve Austin's butt. And last and, six week, weeks. <laughs> and six weeks. And, and six weeks. And Vince is, oh, well. Six and Vince says, who man? <laughs> Why? Right. So why exactly did Vi why why is Vince like this? First off, why is Vader not just saying who to man? I why is Paul Bear not talking for Vader? That's why what is I was Paul thinking. Bear That's what I think. Why is Paul Bear with Vader? Obviously, because he can't talk. Because so why not have Paul with Taker? So I get it. But like, yeah, have Paul Bear talk. Yes, but have Paul Bear talk so you can be the mouthpiece for Vader. Easy with the beat the butt. Bitch, in the last six, six, six weeks, weeks six, six weeks, Stone Cold Steve Austin's <laughs> Bret Hart, Seven. six, six, six weeks, and who the man? <laughs> That's all I ever want to hear from Vader. If, yeah, who the man? Who the man? Yeah, yeah. What? What's the time? It's yeah, Vader, Vader time. time. And who's, who's the man? The man? Vader is the man. <laughs> Vader is also the Even man. Even at WCW, he was on his heavyweight run. That's all he ever did. Harley Race would be like, who's the man? And Vader would say, me. Who's the man? <laughs> me. What time yes. is it? Vader time. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, there he is. Best ever. That's the yeah. best right there. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, so Jerry Lawler, this is where he sends money to his mom. Yeah, they, they Vince is talking about the show, and Lawler's sitting, sitting there. Uh, writing out a money order. He said, well, I'm signing a uh, Western Union money transfer. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I mean, Valentine's Day. And Jerry says, Thanksgiving. And Lars says, well, I'm always thinking about food just like you. <laughs> I said, oh, all right, that's fucked up. All right, Vader, always... we're back to you. We can't do it. Six weeks to Thanksgiving. Bro, bro. How many Bret Hart's you got on Valentine's Day? Six <laughs> weeks ago. Yeah, Lawler says he's sending his mom money for Valentine's so she can buy him things. Whatever. Jerry he's handwriting out a handwriting this fucking thing out. He's not a Stupid. full pervert yet. He's he's just a dumbass. And now we get, of course, Farouk and Crush versus Owen Hart and the British Bulldog. Tag titles on the line. Uh and they're PG thirteen are out here again again doing for which it stands one nation under <laughs> Farouk with liberty and justice. For no one. <laughs> so, okay, true. That's cool. Crush is also <laughs> here. Crush is here, and he's in the Nation of Domination. <laughs> Just so everybody Something knows. feels wrong here. <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> so Owen Hart is, I mean, dude, there's like 
levels to this shit, he man. He is leagues above everyone on this show. He makes British Bulldog look like a dumbass idiot. Like, yeah. he is like... It's actually unbelievable here. Owen Hart is cooking. He's he, this match. It's like this match is not nothing at all, really. But yeah. Owen Hart is. It's just like he. You could pick His him pace. Out, yeah, you could pick him out of a crowd. Like this guy is like. Good, good, man. Yeah, when Brett, anytime, or sorry, anytime Owen tags in, yeah, his pace is like so different from everything on this fucking show. It's unbelievable. No wasted movement, ton of urgency. Like even in a match that like literally was nothing, you know, he yeah. was still out there pushing, pushing the limit. And like, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, of course, then we go backstage and, uh, well, we see oh, no. the Hitman. <laughs> oh my God, the bret hart patreon announcement big shirt. dude I'm, there's like i swear there's at least like five iconic wrestling memes on this show alone this is one of them with the bret hart photo dude i I'm, i'll put this in the chat i made this just to send during this thank you thank you i was gonna tell you to do that that is fantastic. i didn't do it on the i, I can replace it yeah just the patreon it. Yeah, up just yet. replace okay, it yeah, yeah. That's because awesome. I had the Sean picture, but I was like, oh, how how often how often are we going to be able to do that? Bit? Never was, once. This is it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. All right, I'll, I'll fix it. Now. Yeah. So uh, for people who don't know, we have a Patreon. Uh, Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com/slash/deadlockpw. <laughs> yeah, you can check that out. Uh, and every week we post this image uh, that I think Johnny made this, and like Pedro made this. Oh, Pedro made this. Yes. Um, and it's the it's the literally an edited picture of this exact <laughs> fucking. <laughs> part where bret hart is looking at the tv sideways it's, this is the uh, first we, time ever in wrestling i think that they've looked at the tv this way and ever since then they've Brian always looked it. <laughs> he, he did invent it and they all forevermore they always look at the tv this, this, this way. is this is legitimately how dads watch fucking the the lions <laughs> football game on thanksgiving <laughs> Dude, even even Brett's arms are down, like his hands are in his pockets, like dad style. Yeah, like looks a big like dad style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Cowboys win. One hand Cowboys hand winning here tonight, boys. Yeah, yeah I'm doing. Uh, when you walk into the room, you walk by the TV and stand by it right like this. <laughs> gotta make sure you That's got exactly. one eye on the game, one eye on the food. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. We come back from commercial crush runs into British Bulldog who is ducked down and just immediately hits him with a pile driver. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, this the, was during the random commercial thing where they didn't really understand live TV and you have to like yeah. pace the matches differently. So like you come yeah. back and it's like craziest fucking Cru move. Cr crush pile driver to Bulldog. And then yes, I wrote, holy shit, Bret Hart is standing Patreon style. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that down too. That's based. <laughs> Bret Hart Patreon picture is what I wrote down. <laughs> so, That's tremendous. So Bret is talking about Sean on the split screen while Crush is doing his shitty fucking heat. And Brett <laughs> Brett says that he would love to wrestle Shawn Michaels. He, he, it's a shock to everyone. He, Sean thinks it's over. I don't think it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Fellas, <laughs> if I had a time machine, I'm going back. <laughs> and I got to tell him you don't want to do that. <laughs> so, a lot of Femme Nikita is coming out. So, 10 p.m. after Nikita. Raw, of course. Uh, yes. It's JR's favorite show. He's like, I'm not from Nikita, of course. Like, I, they talk about it. Crush has Bulldog in a body scissors, and Vince says, well, how would you like to be body scissored by La Femme Nikita? <laughs> JR would love it. Uh, <laughs> okay, Bulldog, cool. man, he got exposed big time in this match, man. He looked like shit in this match. Well, I wrote, James, just to let you know, uh, I, I wrote this down, and I just had to figure out in my brain what ne right now what I meant. I wrote, this match gets the plus 10 treatment, <laughs> which means I skipped 10 seconds. Oh, of shit. Nice. <laughs> okay, plus, well, 10, plus 10, plus Bulldog, 10, plus 10. Bulldog looks, yeah, he doesn't look right here. But anyways, yeah, I believe fucking it. Owen hot tag, double fucking That's spinning when I heel stopped, kick. I started watching again at Owen. Yes. Yeah, diving Booker T drop kick, man. Oh, my God. He's going crazy. It's awesome. Um, then Owen gets thrown over the ropes, and... He gets the Shawn Michaels schism knee. Dude, dude, I thought this was incredible. I didn't I didn't even know I didn't even think about it until Deb pointed out. She said, Oh my god, they're doing an injury angle on the night that Sean left because he was knee. I said, Oh my god, <laughs> Owen Hart's the best oh, ribber ever. Yeah, as I was gonna say, Owen Hart is like the master <laughs> ribber. You know, you know, I bet you that wasn't even supposed to be the finish. He just fucking did it. Just, just ah, it. my knee hurts, and he just called it. <laughs> I need Gorilla Monsoon to help me with this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Owen right. takes a bump to the floor, sells his knee. He gets counted out because he can't stand up. <laughs> that is amazing. And now British Bulldog is getting DP'd in the ring by Faruqi Crush. 
fucked by the nation. They give him, Farouk gets him with a Dominator. Very light, though. Dominator. Well, Owen can't come in to help Bulldog because he's got the schism knee. Dude, he, he, <laughs> Owen gets on the apron and then just jumps off and the falls. apron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has the schism knee. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. So we're in February 97? Yes. Was this really just a rib? This didn't like go anywhere. <laughs> no, it, it was like shit, just a rib. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, it didn't lead to anything. Wow, <laughs> dude, that is crazy. I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, it's like him. He's because like I remember it was like soon after the Heart Foundation that they did the Nation of Domination thing. Yeah, and what I, I was like, wow, so like he's like planting the seed here where he's like, fuck you, man. He's just fucking with Shawn Michaels. Honestly. Yeah, he's just, having, Owen, just having a rib, brother. Owen ribbing Shawn about the knee is so sick. Oh, my God. So, in your house, Final Four video. Uh, here you, you got to goddamn watch Vader. this show. Please watch <laughs> this show, man. <laughs> Doc Please Hendricks do doing the voiceover. There yeah, why are you watching Nitro? It's Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, next up, we have Vader versus Bret Hart. Yes. Main event time here. Uh, both men get in the ring. Brett gives his glasses away. But before we get to that, the lights go out. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, please fucking no. <laughs> Undertaker, don't get near the main event. Get back up. No. Back the fuck up. <laughs> well, Undertaker is here, James. I'm sorry. Creatures. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. He starts out with creatures. He, creatures. The first thing he says is creatures. Mount up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he comes out he's got paul bear gripped up i don't know why vader didn't bring paul bear with him or had any concern that paul bear wasn't with him but You're he did right. not care what the fuck yeah tinker's creatures i hate to interrupt but there seems to be a problem with respect the what <laughs> the undertaker he don't seem to get that anymore i said Dude, what the way, that he wore, the way that he worded this was so fucked up like he should have just said no one respects me anymore but the undertaker he he don't get it no more <laughs> he don't seem Dude, to get the, any anymore the pace of the promo is so off taker keeps speeding up and slowing down and dropping the fucking voice and having the yeah, voice right. and he's either the undertaker he doesn't seem to get it anymore <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> well, gentlemen, let me forewarn you now. In four days' time in Nashville, Tennessee, you will have to look into the eyes of the Reaper along with Stone Cold. <laughs> I said, well, okay. <laughs> you have to throw that in like right at the end. Yeah. Like James said, the Cade and Shaw. Yeah, you have to look in the up. eyes of the Reaper along with Stone Cold. <laughs> Each of you know I you can't beat me. So what you have to deal with, Hitman and vader is the time is at hand <laughs> and you three rest in peace can somebody oh. get this fucking guy out of here so these guys can work <laughs> no holy no. shit man uh so anyways back in the match vader with a fucking fist we're going crazy wait a minute there's stone cold steve austin he's attacking braille art oh we'll be right back we gotta go <laughs> dude yeah the match has started brett jumped him i'm pretty sure the bell had rung Austin just comes out and stomps out Brett, and we don't care. <laughs> there was a DQ we, in the Austin match. Dude, they go to commercial and miss come back Western Union. And I'm like, what the <laughs> yes! hell? <laughs> oh, my God, Tony. Yeah, they go to commercial. They don't come back to the match. They come back to the Western Re Union Rewind, which was the Rock getting the roll-up win earlier in the night. There's a fucking <laughs> the main event fuck? going on. What's wrong with you? <laughs> dude, this felt like a decade understand. ago. The, the Rock yeah, might understand. be in live TV. You're right, James. Yeah, no, you're right, Danny. Yeah. Uh, so we come back, and Steve Austin's just not here anymore. <laughs> they replay him stomping him out that you saw just before it went to commercial. Anyways, Vader in the corner with a fist and a line. This man's going crazy. <laughs> this is two goats wrestle right here. What a hell of a main event. Uh, They're working. Brett reverses Vader off the roads to a power slam. Dope shit. Brett's got the cool. meanest Russian leg sweep of all time, man. Just fucking slams him. He hooks him. it so crazy, too. It's very cool. Uh, body slam goes to the sharpshooter. Vader kicks him out into the corner. Brett's punches were super sick too, man. Good puncher, man. Brett was, I mean, Brett was just good. Yeah, well, sexy ass Stone Cold's now on the balcony. Oh my God. Why? He's, Why? He's, he's, he's serenading the Hitman. By God, he's got the lips. Oh, yeah. You want to fuck Hitman? <laughs> Why is he in the balcony? Well, he's up there in full gear, too. For what the reason? The referee's up there. Well, he's distracting Well, because somebody. the final four, he the just came Undertaker. Out to the well, Why is he in the balcony because. Now? Because, because he, yeah, ask Gorilla Monster. he don't seem Aww. to get it anymore. 
So Vader goes for the Vader bomb and then climbs to the top rope and then Austin's like, do it, hit him with it. Vader goes fucking Vader salt. Brett moves out of the way and pins him and wins. I said, what? <laughs> okay. That's awesome. And then Austin Fucking. calls him a dumbass up there. He's like, you <laughs> idiot. Why did you do Austin that not shit? only calls him a dumbass, Tony, but then threatens to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's what happened. No, that's right. That's, that's oh, all right. I thought that's what it was yeah, going He was going to jump the balcony and come kill uh, Bret Hart. Oh, is he, was, he, was, he would have blown he his knee to... out there, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, another knee angle on this show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Austin was climbing over the balcony. I thought he was trying to kill himself because Vader lost, which uh, I was That's also right. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would have done. <laughs> so the I hear people you. of Lowell, Massachusetts started jumping off Worcester's the balcony. Worcester's going nuts. <laughs> And then uh, they, the Peacock Fades version of the black. show replays this part. No, of Fades the to Black, and now we're back. It's Thursday, Raw Thursday. No, the Western Union Rewind with The Rock. The <laughs> yeah, rock what the wins. fuck happened here? I don't here. know. Yeah, it was like an extra 15 minutes. And then it just replays minutes. the whole end of it again, yeah. But yeah, the show ends with Austin trying to kill himself and Brent being... <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> oh, Sorry. <laughs> Austin trying to kill himself off the balcony. Uh, no, be, no. Be no, that's right. the no, that's right. The referee's saving Stone Cold's life. <laughs> is what happened uh and that was it that was uh thursday raw thursday weird fucking show i have no idea what the rating was i'm very curious now i'm gonna go take a look uh because we do our dil- due diligence here and we never lie they can blame uh, the bad rating not on once the, no they, they can blame the rating on the fact that it was on thursday oh it wasn't in monday time slot so it doesn't matter about the rating uh 2.3 for the thursday raw thursday nitro on R- monday did a 3.8 uh that was unopposed obviously and then the next week they did a 2.9 to raw's 2.1 Okay. So Nitro is winning in the ratings here for a fucking long time. Yeah, they are. Long wow. fucking time here, yeah. Wow. wow. Jesus. Well, there you go. Girl Monsoon presents Raw Thursday, uh, Raw Thursday. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that is it for our show. Monday Thank night. you for joining us. Raw. Everybody. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Raw. Raw. <laughs>